I have pretty bad allergies right now, so I probably look like crap. Okay, so I think I figured out what happened. You want to hurt my feelings as bad as I hurt your feelings by putting my ex-girlfriend's health before our relationship. Okay? Look. My whole life has been destroyed because I put my, ex my ex-girlfriend's health before our relationship. Okay? And there's nothing I can do to fix that. Uh, it doesn't mean that what we had had to be over. Okay? I would have easily come down. I'm pretty sure that kid's yours, and I would have adopted your child. I would have, I would have gladly adopted your your daughter, who I, I believe she's your daughter. This would be going to be unlisted, so don't worry about that. I just hope you watch it. I would have gladly adopted your daughter. I would gladly marry you in a second, and I would gladly have a family with you. But you know, I have a feeling that I damaged you, damaged you on a personal level more than I can ever know, okay? So I started looking into autistic rages and things like that, and I'm not discounting your your emotions, they're valid, and I understand that I, I damaged you beyond, beyond what I can recognize as the girl that I remember. And I'm sorry, okay? I'm very sorry that this happened. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, except apologize and except explain to you the problem is I think you tried to hurt my feelings and like you know how your emotions are kind of different like you don't show your emotions you can be really hurt and whatnot and you don't show anything and you can have feelings and you don't show your feelings which it did mean a lot to me when you explained that to me and let me know that you did care about me even though I couldn't see your feelings you you cared about me even though you weren't that good at expressing them, you did care about me, and that meant a lot to me. I have whacked out emotions, too, except in my situation, I don't get sad, generally speaking. I get angry. And unfortunately, what happened is you were trying to make me sad, and it worked to an extent, but then I just got angry. And I didn't like being angry at you, and I don't like being angry at you, and I, I never want to be angry at you ever again. So I realized it's time to quit. For real, it's time to quit. Okay? And I don't want to be angry at you. You don't want me angry at you. Please understand that. Um, it didn't take me long to find another girl. Okay? Do I necessarily want the girl that I ended up with? Not really. It took me about 30 minutes on a Latina dating site to find a, a girl, an American girl of Latina origin, uh, that likes me, okay, and that I'm going on dates with. She's not exactly brilliant, she's no uh, Eliana Morales, but she's hot, she's a model, you know, whatever, you know, uh, she's tolerable, she exercises a lot like I do. And, you know, that's, you know, that's kind of it. But the thing is, what I, what I actually think is kind of funny, you and me know who the most important scientist in science history is, Isaac Newton. Do you think Royce or any of these people would know that? Royce wouldn't even answer with a scientist. He'd be like, I don't know, George Washington or something. And, uh, you know, if you're at Disney, and he'll say, you look like a beautiful Cinderella. And you'll respond, you stupid idiot, I am Pocahontas. James would have known that. And it's true, James would have known that. There have not been two people better made for each other than you and me. Okay, there haven't. Uh, yeah, we have some disagreements, whatever. I, I, I really hurt your feelings. And I hurt you so badly that I don't even recognize you. I see that now. And look, there's nothing I can do to make that right. I'm probably just gonna date a bunch of chicks until I find the right chick to knock up, and unless I accidentally knock one up in between. And that'll be how things go. I had things planned for you and me. I really did. And I'm sorry that everything turned out the way it did. 
I have that ticket. I'm probably going to use that ticket. I'm probably coming down anyway. I have to schedule my flight still. I've been hesitant because I don't know exactly what's going on down there. But I'll find out when I get down. If worse comes to worse, they'll put me in custody and send me back to the United States. All you need to know is that I, I really do love you. And this has all been a big, big, big mistake. I do think it's funny that you've used these idiots, these fat morons. I do think it's funny that you've successfully completely manipulated them into making me jealous. What you did, it made me jealous, but it made me angry. It, it didn't make me sad so much as angry. And that's the thing is you don't, see, you don't understand this because we never got to talking too much about this. I don't, like, like I said, how you don't have emotions like a regular person, I don't either. I have anger and I don't have anger. Um, you made me happy, which was neat. You were the only person that ever made me happy. But generally speaking, I have two modes, angry and not angry. Okay? And I don't like being angry at you. It's not, it doesn't feel right being angry at you. And I never want to be angry at you again. So I quit. I hope you watch this video. I hope you know I care about you. And I hope you know that I'm never going to be angry at you again. Even if it means I have to stop talking to you permanently and stop reaching out to you permanently and just stop permanently. If that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do. I can't be angry at you. It just doesn't feel natural to me to be angry at you. It, it actually, it hurt me to be angry at you because I care about you and I do love you, okay? And you might not think that. You might not think that because I put my ex-girlfriend's health first. Look, I didn't expect any of the shit to happen with her that happened with her, but it happened with her, okay? I'm sorry. It doesn't mean that I didn't care about you, and I'm sorry that I put her before us. Look, I'm sorry. It was, it was a ridiculous situation that you couldn't possibly understand. And look, no matter what, I care about you. If you decided to start talking to me tomorrow and put this all behind us, I would put it all behind us. I think this was just a bunch of nonsense. I don't think it's important at all. I do think you're important. I do think I'm important, but I don't think any of this nonsense is important. That's all for this video. I'm uploading it unlisted. I'm going to drop it in the comments section of one of your videos. I hope you watch it. Please watch it. Okay, hon? Okay. Galena, I just want you to know I love you. And I look forward to building a life with you. If you need to take a step back and you need to take time and you need to do things, don't worry about it. Okay? I love you. I'm all in. I promise. I promise you I'm all in. Okay? I'm in. Okay. <laughs> Galena, I want you to understand something. I think you have some trust issues based on, unfortunately, my past with, you know, somebody. And I want you to know, um, don't worry about it. I'm making this video public. I don't think anybody knows who you are, and I think that's a good thing. But I want you to know, you have no reason to have any trust issues. I am 100% fully dedicated to you. Nobody in my life has actually shown me the love that you have, the raw, pure love that you have. You've reached out to me when I needed somebody to reach out to me because people were literally maligning me. And you saw through the nonsense and you reached out to me and you did. You lifted me up when no one else would. And like I said, nobody knows who you are, like you said, so I can use your name. And I do. I love you. Okay. Now, yeah, does this feel weird? Of course it feels weird. I never thought a girl as beautiful, as young as you, would want to be with me, okay? I'm a loser by society's, not by your standards, but by society's standards, I am a loser, and I recognize that. But you don't see me as a loser, and that means quite a bit to me. And the reason I'm making this public is so you know, Eliana is in the past. I don't want Eliana. Eliana didn't want me, clearly. If Eliana wanted me, she would have had me, because it's not like I didn't give her plenty of opportunities to have me. So I recognize that she didn't want me. You don't have to worry. You're not being used for anything. I would never use anyone, okay? Least of all, somebody that has shown me the amount of love that you have, okay? 
I love you. Um, no matter what, I will work on anything you want me to work on. I will work on anything. I can come to you, you can come to me, and you know what that's about, nobody else has to. It doesn't matter how this works out, as long as you understand I will pursue you as long as you let me pursue you, okay? And I'm very serious, I'm serious about everything we've discussed, I'm 100% dead serious about everything, okay? You don't have to worry, I will never cheat on you, I will never leave you, I will never do anything to make you distrust me. Uh, if you have trust issues, we'll work on those. We'll work on those and I will prove myself to you. I will always prove myself to you if you allow me to. I understand that you're a lot younger than me. I understand that you have, I mean, you have reasons to maybe distrust people. I don't, I don't know you enough yet. But the thing is, what you need to understand is I would never use anybody. I never have used anybody. And I certainly wouldn't use somebody that's as beautiful and kind as you are. Somebody that reached out to me at great risk to herself, I might add. At great risk to herself, you reached out to me to defend me against people that, you know, are insane. They're, these people are insane. And uh, you showed me that you loved me and we've continued to explore that. And, you know, yeah, it's, it's a weird situation, but it doesn't, have to, uh, it doesn't have to always be a weird situation. And if you're willing to work on it and I'm willing to work on it, you know, we can have something. And I think that we're both willing to work on it. And I think that our love is a real thing. And I think that, you know, it will work out. It will work out. In the long run, it will work out. And in the short term, it will work out. And the reason I'm making this video public is I want everyone to know that you are mine and I am yours, like we have said, okay? And nobody, nobody will interfere with that, okay? That's the truth. You have no reason to distrust me, or I don't want you to have any reasons to distrust me, but I know for a fact that on my end, you have no reason to distrust me. Whatever's going on on your end, if, if you're having issues, we can work that out. Okay, but I'm telling you right now, I would never use or harm anybody, period. I just wouldn't do it, okay? And I think you know that I love you. I think that if you examine the things that we've said, you th I think you know that I'm there for you no matter what. I think I've proven that to you, and I think, I, I think you know that. And like I said, if you need me to come to you, as opposed to you coming to me, I will be there for you. I will come to you, okay? I can, I can do whatever you need me to do to prove to you that I'm there for you and that you can trust me and that I'm there for you and I'm only there for you. You're mine and I'm yours like you, like you want. And that'll be that way forever if you want that to be. I really love you. I love you a lot, my little Zarina. And uh, yeah, and you are a Zarina. You're my little queen. I, I really do love you so much. Hey Galena, this one's going to be unlisted, of course, I don't want to make this public. I don't know how to send these through the email without uploading them to YouTube first. I want you to understand, I am absolutely 100% sincere with my feelings towards you. I'm not using you in any way, I would never use anyone, but I least of all would use you. I know that your feelings are sincere for me, okay, I know that. And that's why I take this very seriously. If you're having questions, we can take a little break. There's no rush for any of this. I'm very understanding. If you need me to come to you, I can still come to you. Okay? Regardless of anything, I'm not going to think less of you if you feel this way or that way. I understand, you know, you're younger and, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do anything to end things that you anything that you need to understand i would appreciate talking to you on the phone i think you need to know that i love you okay i do i fell in love with you and yeah it felt weird for me too and that's why i've chosen to not think about it i understand if you need to okay but I chose to stop thinking and started feeling because you know it, it seems a little odd that a girl as beautiful and young as you would want somebody as old as I am, okay? And as broke as I am, okay? And as much of a loser as I am, despite what you say, I am by society's standards a loser. Perhaps not by yours, but by society's, yes, I'm a loser. 
but I, uh, you make me feel great. And I'm going to pursue you as much as you want me to pursue you. But I'm not going to make you feel weird if I can help it. And if you do feel weird, I'm going to attempt to understand that. And I'm going to attempt to help you understand what might be going on. Uh, if you want me to. But just know I do love you. That's 100% accurate when I say that. I mean that. I mean that 100% when I say that. I love you. I've fallen in love with you. I do want to marry you. I will marry you. If you come up here, I will marry you. That's not a question in my mind. You will be my wife if you want me to be your husband. You will be my wife. Um, look, I'm sincere. I don't know what to say other than that. I would appreciate uh, maybe talking on the phone one of these days. Uh, but if not, that's okay too. Just know I love you a lot. Mwah. I really do. Sorry I'm so serious right now, I just got done making another YouTube video where I was serious. <laughs> but honestly, I'm not joking when I say I love you. That's 100% true. Uh, it feels weird. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it feels weird. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care how weird it feels. I love you, I wanna be with you, and I'm gonna be with you if you let me be with you. And that's all. So take that for what it's worth. If you want to be my wife, you're my wife. If you want me to be your husband, I'm your husband. If you want to have children with me, we will have children. That's just what will happen. I love you a lot. I am a slipped up. You're my little Zarina. My little angelic Zarina. I really do mean that. I wish I could really kiss you. I wish I could really cuddle you back to health. Maybe you're just having... Maybe you're upset because you don't feel well, lack of sleep. I don't know. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that I respect your feelings and that you understand that I respect your feelings and that you know that I really do love you and you need to know that I really love you. And if you don't think we're right together, then we're not right together. You know what I mean? But I think we should try and um, talk this out, try and work on this, see what's what, because I don't want to let this slip through my hands. I think you're the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I think you're the greatest thing that ever could happen to me. And I don't want to let that go, um, sweetie. So, uh, yeah, this video is quite important. You see, um, my, and I'm going to, I'm going to say it, whatever. My fiance, Galena, uh, has unfortunately been bullied off of YouTube by trolls. Okay. Now these trolls are the same kind of trolls that have been bugging me uh, for many years now. And the thing is, people want to say she's fake, she's fake, she's fake. Well, you know she's not fake because you know her. You know she's not fake enough to harass her both privately and publicly. And uh, this is uncalled for. It is wrong on so many levels. It's immoral. And the funny thing is, you know, you guys want to pretend that you're a bunch of white knights and all these simp's and whatever. You know, you're a bunch of bunch of assholes is what you are. Okay, that's what you are. You're a bunch of assholes. You're so worried about me being a stalker. I'm such a stalker. I'm a stalker. I'm a stalker. No, I'm not a stalker. And as a matter of fact, whoever the hell I was arguing with in my Instagram inbox, and I want to let this known. Look, Galena is my fiance. Even if Eliana wanted me to be with her, I'm not going back to Eliana ever. Eliana will get what she deserves for that, meaning she will never have me in her life again ever after she chose to pick the day wave radio crew over me because you know i'm such a horrible stalker okay meanwhile on instagram i got these people trying to intimidate me telling me untruths about eliana which i know to be untruths defamatory untruths about her family okay defamatory untruths about her family defamatory untruths about her saying that, you know, despite the fact that she's mentally ill, she's using everybody. You know, that's a bunch of horse, it's a bunch of horse shit. I'll fucking say, I'll, I'll say it like it is. The fact of the matter is, I'm with Galena now, okay? Leave the girl alone. And you're, you're not gonna leave her alone because you're just gonna push it and push it and push it and push it. Because that's what you people do. But the thing was, what's, what's so humorous is you're so great people. Now, this is what I find funny. I was watching a day wave radio show. Occasionally, I watch, watch them skim through them after the fact, whatever, see if I was mentioned. Because I, I really don't like being mentioned on the show after they've defamed me to the level they did. 
And I actually agreed, I agreed not to go after them. And I, I know somebody on the show knows that because I cannot, I cannot find an attorney that will agree to go after them without going after Eliana. And I don't believe that Eliana deserves any type of legal repercussions or any, any type of anything from this. Because I still, I, I take responsibility for how things turned out with Eliana. I do. Okay? I do. I think it was my fault, especially considering the age difference and things of that nature. And no, she was not a freaking child. Okay? She may have been 19 when I started talking to her, just turned 20. I don't really know. She may have been. I don't remember exactly how old she was when I was talking to her. But 19 is consensual age in both Argentina and the United States. So there was no freaky business going on between her and I. And you know what? That that's what that's what really upsets me. But the person in my my Instagram inbox saying these disgusting things about her, these disgusting things about her family. And at that time, I knew Eliana was done with me anyway. But as soon as they said, you know, they were her boyfriend, and I have proof, I immediately said, okay, I'm not going to pursue this anymore. She can be happy. It, she doesn't need me to be happy. I was concerned about her. I immediately made a video about it, telling the guy, you know, I, I hope he's taking care of her, meaning Eliana, not Galena, of course. But I was concerned about my friend, Eliana. And I even told this person, once I realized that it was a bunch of horse shit, I told him flat out, and I'm pretty sure it was Royce Lopez, because he was trying to convince me into not pursuing legal action against Royce Lopez. Uh, I stated flat out. I'm like, look, I said, look, uh, leave, I said, I said, leave my friend alone, you fat, greasy fuck, basically. I said, leave my friend alone, you fat, greasy fuck. I want to be careful with what I'm saying is I don't know what YouTube standards are exactly. They keep changing them. But that's what I said. I didn't say, leave my biatch alone or anything like that. No, I said, leave my friend alone. Because regardless, if Eliana wasn't my girlfriend at that time, at that time, not now, at that time, I considered her my friend, and I didn't care for the fact that she was being exploited by a bunch of fat, self-hating minorities on a program that want to pretend to be conservative white people, okay? So my point is, is and this is the thing, I, I'll get back into the, you know, I, I tuned in the other day, I'll leave a link in the description. There was a young Hispanic girl, same phenotype as Eliana. See, people don't understand this. I'm Hispanic. My family came from Brazil. My mom's family came from Brazil. Not all Hispanics are phenotypically mestizo or castizo or anything like that. But this young lady was obviously phenotypically a mestiza or, or a castiza, like, like Eliana. And, you know, Royce Lopez is on there talking about how she looks Asian and he's, he's using racial slurs, asking if she's this racial slur or that racial slur. You know, this is what people don't understand. I'm not anymore. My, my views have moderated over the years. I used to be, and I'm not even, I'm not even gonna deny this. I used to be a neo-Nazi skinhead when I was a teenager, okay? Even at the height of me being a neo-Nazi skinhead, I would never use terminology like that to describe a young lady, okay? And on top of that, if you ask people, that probably even people that know me now, I am a chauvinistic person, okay? So, you're talking about a chauvinistic neo-Nazi skinhead that would not use terminology like these people used to describe some young lady on the internet, okay? absolutely disgusting language from them. Absolutely. But more importantly, this young lady is the same phenotype as my former friend, Miss Morales. Okay? So th this is the disgusting way in which they speak about people. And I know what that was about. Whatever it was, and this is this has gone back years, even when I was actively very good friends with her on social media and when I was planning on going down there and when she was expecting me to come down there. That's all real. Okay? The thing is, people couldn't handle the fact that she would talk to me. And they have this, this delusion that if they can stop me from talking to her, that she'll magically want them. Well, no, she won't. Okay? And the same thing goes for my fiancé, Galena. Leave the girl alone. Leave her the hell alone. Okay? You know she's real enough that you're bothering her. She's been... She's had... She's received derogatory remarks about her religious affiliation. 
All sorts of crap. All sorts of crap. Okay? It's not okay. It's not okay at all. Okay? And I'm saying that. You'll keep doing it, but it's not okay. You bullied her off the internet. And, you know, I'm the kind of person, you know, with, like with Eliana. Don't mess with my people. Don't mess with my people. Please, stop screwing with my people. Okay? Because you know what? If you start this defamation crap up again, and you start defaming me again, and it doesn't involve Eliana, well then, you know, an attorney probably would like to go after that without going after Eliana, because there's no reason to go after her in that situation. Okay? But the point is, the whole thing protecting Daywave Radio is because I don't want to harm somebody that I don't think really did anything all that bad, really. Okay, but what Daywave does by, by, by directing these trolls to people like me and directing them to do these things, this girl did nothing to nobody. You don't know this girl. You want to call her things like a, a tulpa, a Tibetan thought form. You want to state derogatory uh, statements about her religious affiliation. You know, these are all things, yeah, that, you know, yeah, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. Well, you don't, you don't allow other people freedom of expression or freedom of speech. You use your little troll army to shut people down, okay? Now, this girl didn't even attack anybody or anything. All she did was say that she loves me. She didn't do anything to anyone, and she's not trying to hurt anyone. She's an innocent person. And I'm not going to give any of her ideas. She's, she's terrified of you people because you're a bunch of evil, evil people. I mean, you are, I don't, I don't, this is the thing. I don't even believe in good and evil, but objectively speaking, you people are terrible people, terrible people. Okay. Morally reprehensible people. Okay. You, there's no reason to direct these people to harass people the way that you do. And it is you doing it. Okay, I know who's behind it because I've been putting up with this crap for years. There's been a lot of slip ups on the various programs. I have a lot of friends that I have directed, some of them that actually do work in intelligence, that have been what or did work in intelligence, I should say, that have been watching this program, have noticed slip ups, have noticed mentioned comments about how I've been being stalked for years, how my videos have been being downloaded for years. Okay, and how I've been targeted for years. There are also other people. This is the thing. When you when you start going after one person, it starts bringing them, bringing the attention of other people to them. Other people that have been victims of this crap that have better tech uh, techno crack tech skills than I do, have also traced down a lot of stuff. They know who a lot of these trolls are. They know their they know their names, their physical addresses, and everything else. My point is, is you're not as anonymous online as you think. And somebody like me or my former friend Eliana that aren't anonymous online, we actually put our stuff out there because we figured, you know, why bother, okay? Now, luckily, no, luckily, Galena is not as stupid as Eliana. Galena is not going to be going on day wave. Galena does not believe anything these idiots are saying. And Galena is not a moron. She wants to be my wife. She will be my wife. And guess what? I will definitely enjoy working with her and exploring breeding. <laughs> but my point is, is Daywave are a bunch of fake ass, fake conservatives, fake, fake, fake people pretending to be conservative white people, pretending, you know, the, the derogatory things they say about people is over the top. As I said, yeah, my views have moderated a lot regarding race and, and things of that nature and the coexistence of different people. But, you know, you don't say things like that. You don't say things like that about even even like, honestly, I'm even pissed off about what they said about this girl the other day. I just watched it. But yeah, you don't you don't you shouldn't talk about people like that, especially when you're a fat, greasy something or other that I can't say because it's a racial slur. OK. But you should not be saying these things about people. You should not be harassing people the way that you are. And regardless, you know, I'm still, I'm still angry about the Eliana thing. I'm still angry about that because I think that she was exploited. I think that there were uh, things told to her that weren't true to make her angrier at me prior to the show. Okay. And I can deal with it. I can deal with that stuff. You know, somebody like Eliana, who's very sensitive and she is very sensitive, you know, 
You shouldn't be working her up before a show or anything like that for entertainment purposes or for monetary gain, which is exactly what happened. I can take insults. I can take harassment. I can take this stuff. The people around me can't. Certain people around me are absolutely terrified. I was being threatened. The people were threatening me that they were going to come over my apartment and sodomize me. People were threatening me that they were going to kill me. People were threat all in the, you know, comment sections, things like this. You know, this is all because they were directed to me. You know, going after a 19 or 20 year old girl, that's not pedophilia. Okay? She was of the legal age of consent in both Argentina and the United States. Okay, flat out. So I'm having people threatening to kill me, threatening to sodomize me, threatening to do this. Th Some of the people around me, they couldn't take it. There was one, somebody had the, the audacity, the audacity to tell me that, uh, that there's no women coming out of my defense. Well, there was one woman that came out of my defense who's a friend of mine in real life, and she was harassed off the internet. I have spent, Jesus Christ, since 2000. 13 I have spent time on social media the majority of my friends on social media even when I was on Facebook the majority of them were young usually scientists young ladies I've stalked none of them none of them I have harassed none of them ever but the majority of my friends online have always been young ladies uh, I do. I did have a lot of male friends too when I had my Facebook account because I had like four. Uh, no, it was the I like two thousand and some friends I had. Okay, when I at the height of it, I had most of my most of my friends were scientists from the former Soviet Union and from the Middle East and from Asia, primarily South Korea, China, Taiwan, etc. So most of what I was on social media for was to communicate with these gerontologists and other scientists that were interested in reversing the aging process. That's why I was online. The way I found Eliana was just an, an off chance. And the, the truth of the matter is, like I said before, Eliana is not, I don't, she's done. She chose, she chose her path in life. Her path in life does not include me. Galena will be my wife. Galena will be bearing my children. Galena should be left alone by you people. If you want to bother Eliana, go bother her. She made her choice. I still think it's wrong. I still think it's not right. I still think you exploited the situation. And I still know that Eliana is not going to go within 100 feet of you people because she's very sensitive to foul odors. But Galena is the girl that's going to be my wife. Galena is the girl that's going to be bearing my children. And you need to be leaving her alone. And that's all for this video. Okay, I want to make this clear. Unfortunately, and I don't blame her. Unfortunately, my fiance, and I will say it again, she considers herself my fiance. She's my fiance. Um, Galena, she wants to marry me and I will marry her, period. She's very concerned that I'm still attracted to Eliana. So I, I took down my previous video simply because I didn't want to upset her. Um, I will not ever, ever have anyone in my life but Galena, okay? If she wants to marry me, she has me all to herself. The main difference between her and any other woman, okay, and this is the truth, you've, you've basically uh, given me so much love and so much attention, and I love it. I would never leave you for anyone older than you. I would never leave you for anyone younger than you. Well, that, <laughs> but I will never leave you, period. I promise. If we get married, you will be the only person in my life ever. Okay? You want to marry me? I want to marry you. I'm very dedicated to you. And I'm not making this for anyone but you. I took down that video because it upset you. And I don't think it was right to upset you. So just know that. I was only trying to make a video to defend you. Yes, I mentioned other people because it was things that they did to them too, okay? it's for, This video is for you and only you. If you want to marry me, we will be married and we will um, we'll be very happy together, I think. But I mean, I can only, this is what you need to understand. I can only reassure you as much as you let me reassure you. Um, but I promise you, I have no doubts about our relationship. Anybody that loves me as much as you love me, uh, 
and that I can love as much as I want to love because that was a problem with other people is they didn't want my love um, you know whatever you know I'm well what I mean by whatever is we can share our love with one another okay and that's not that's not a bad thing that's a very good place to start a relationship from I love you Galena I love you and I'm sorry that I upset you by making that video it wasn't meant to upset you it was meant to try and defend you I love you I want to marry you and when I do marry you we will be together forever I promise okay I love you a lot I love you a lot my little Zarina <laughs> I was gonna you know but well I'm gonna stop muttering uh, I love you that's all you need to know I love you this video is for you I want to marry you and I will marry you as soon as you see me we will be getting married that's if that's what you want we will be getting married within hours of meeting each other okay Galena, look, I'm going to keep everything relatively private. I don't know what's wrong or what happened. I do know that you seem to have met somebody, and that's fine, okay? This is exactly what happened previously. And uh, you asked me what was bothering me. I told you what was bothering me. And, of course, you know, you didn't want to hear what was bothering me. And then you didn't want to uh, prove that I was wrong. Okay, with what was concerning me. Look, it's no big deal. Like I said, you know, time when time and space are a very real obstacle, love doesn't matter. As much as we want to believe that love is the end-all be-all and that all we need is love and blah, 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 love, 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 it really doesn't matter. I spent money preparing my apartment for you that I wouldn't have otherwise spent preparing my apartment for you. Um, yeah, I got you some little trinkets and stuff to uh, make you understand that I was very serious about being with you. I know you were serious about being with me up until, you know, you met this dude, okay? And I regret the fact that I didn't tell you to, uh, you know, not do anything. I regret that I didn't tell you to listen to me better than you did, okay? Um, look, Everything was fine up until a little while ago, and my assumption is that this gentleman picked you up and went on a date with you. Look, it's not that hard to take a picture of yourself and send me a picture of yourself to let me see what's going on, okay? You don't have to worry about me going on day wave, although they're gonna pick up this video and have a field day with it, but you wouldn't let me talk to you any other way, really. Um, so the thing is what you need to understand, I don't really care, like it's not like I'm not gonna find another chick, like that's the whole thing. You really seem to love me, and I really do think you do love me, okay? And you were committed to coming up to see me and all this other stuff, and it seems like you just threw this away because you went out, went dancing, met some olive-skinned, wiry-haired gentleman, and apparently, you know, you forgot all about me for one night, and apparently you forgot about me a second night. And that's cool. Like I said, this, this is exactly what happened with, you know, who? And I don't even want to mention her name because really I don't want to mention her name. She doesn't deserve for me to mention her name after the way she treated me. But the fact of the matter is it's exactly what happened with her. You know, when you are an ethnic outsider to a situation and there's geographical separation and there's time differences and all this stuff, it's very difficult. And like we kept saying, January is right around the corner. January is right around the corner. January is right around the corner. Well, January didn't come soon enough, did it? Okay. So, I know what happened, you know what happened, you can deny what happened, but I think we both know what happened, and uh, that's all. You know, I really put myself out there for you, and uh, this is how you, uh, you, you, you know, <laughs> you pay me back, I guess. Uh, anyway, I really cared about you. I guess we're done. I guess you're going to be the next one on day wave swearing you never met me. <laughs> Anyway, I do have people that witnessed everything, and I do have emails uh, in case that comes up. But you need to take into consideration, honey. This is ridiculous. You could have very easily taken a picture of yourself, sent me a picture of yourself, you know, and you're going to complain this is public? Well, you're the one that commented on the thing that I made you, uh, showing that I got us matching, uh, matching uh, pendants to show our unity for one another. 
and you said was, meaning that we're no longer getting married in January. Well, you know what? That wasn't my doing. I wanted to give you the opportunity to talk this out with me, but clearly you were uh, otherwise occupied with other people that weren't me. Okay. And, you know, you everything was my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. The truth of the matter is, number one, a lot of this was your fault. And number two, a lot of it was outside of our control. A lot of it has to do with geography and time. And that's all. So, I mean, if you don't want to be with me, you clearly don't want to be with me. That's what you say. I broke your heart into a million pieces, whatever. You know, I don't know what to say. I've been very understanding of you. I talk you back to health. You really wanted to be with me today. You wanted to be with me today. You wanted to be with me until, you know, you brought up this gentleman, this Armenian gentleman. And I said what I said, and it got you very angry. And you know what? I can't compete with somebody that is of your own culture. Okay. Well, not really your culture. At least I'm hoping you're not Armenian, but you know what I'm saying? I can't compete with that. I'm an outsider. I'm not Eastern European. I'm not European. Even I'm American. And the fact of the matter is, uh, yeah, this is how it turns out. This is how it turns out because, you know, you didn't, you wanted to pretend like I should trust you without giving me a reason to trust you. Okay. And if you want me to trust you, give me a reason to trust you. A matter of fact, there's, I've had very few reasons to trust you. The only reason I had to trust you is that we both shared love for one another. And that love did feel very real. I hope you reconsider everything and I hope you start talking to me again. But if you don't, you don't. I don't, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't control you any more than I can control anyone else. And it doesn't matter to me. I'll find someone else. It's not impossible for you to find somebody else. That was the mistake that uh, somebody else made. I don't need anyone. I can find someone. I wanted you. You made me want you. And now you don't want me. The choice was yours. You made the choice. I did not make the choice. Have a good night, darling. So, Eliana, news around Thunderdome is that you're very jealous of Galena. Well, apparently, um, yeah, I guess things didn't work out with her the way I had planned or the, even the way she had planned, unfortunately. Same problems, geographical, blah, 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 time, space, blah, 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 blah. You know how it goes. Same thing happened to us, Snookums. But the thing is, what you need to know is, if you want your James back, he's here. But if you don't want me back, it's no big deal either. I can find somebody else anyway. Just know that, you know, I'm available. Because, like I said, news around Thunderdome, from what the trolls are saying, is my little Eliana is quite jealous of Galena. Unfortunately, Galena, I don't know what happened to Galena. But James is here. If you want him back, come get him. <laughs> Galena. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm going to put this to you the clearest way I can. I don't know what happened today. We were fine for the majority of the day. I know when you don't get enough sleep, you're the way that you are sometimes. Okay. Whatever. I don't understand what the problem was. I don't understand why you couldn't do anything to help me to trust you a little more. I've done nothing but trust you with very little uh, proof to trust you, okay? You love me, you love me, you love me, okay? Yeah, I get it, you love me, okay? I thought you loved me, it seemed legit, it seemed real, okay? We both made plans, okay? I don't know what to say other than that. The thing that you need to understand is this is exactly what happened to me with my other uh, friend from the other hemisphere. Okay, and uh, that didn't turn out too well. Okay, didn't turn out too well. And the reason why was the same reason, geographical separation, time differences, and the fact that, you know, I can't be there. Okay, other guys are. Okay, so look, all I know is what you let me know, and you don't let me know very much. Okay, not in relation to this, and it seemed like you were pushing me away. You know, you can't push me away 
and and then get mad when I make a video for Eliana. And I'll be honest, I'm still quite mad at Eliana. And if Eliana's watching this video, Eliana will know I'm quite mad at Eliana. Okay? She should know I'm quite mad at her. And she should know that, you know, I would be quite mad at her because nobody should ever get on the radio show like that and pretend that they never talked to somebody that they talked to for three years. Okay? But this is where I see you going too. I don't know why. I don't know why you're this way. I know you, you follow these shows, these radio shows, or whatever the hell they're for, the podcasts, I guess is what they are, and I know you like the folks on these podcasts, and blah, 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 you're a fan of these podcasts, fuck these podcasts, okay, I, I don't, I don't understand where you're coming from, I really don't, and it's not an age thing, and it's not a youth thing, because you're not that young, okay, and I think I've been extremely understanding, I, I've taken time to talk you back to health a couple times when you've had issues. I've taken time to console you when you've had emotional issues. I've taken a lot of time to make you feel better, okay? And I do feel as though I was paying you back for you making me feel better when I was, you know, having the issues I was with all these trolls and whatnot. Look, frankly, it's not that I even want Eliana. The fact of the matter is, Eliana probably wants me at this point despite what Royce Lopez says. And the fact of the matter is, I understand what level of crazy I'm getting into with Eliana. It's over my eyeballs, okay? <laughs> and uh, I don't, I already know that. With you, I, I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. Everything seemed fine up until like today. And then you start losing whatever, you know? And as for your father, like this is what you have to understand, like I said, I'm an ethnic outsider to this little Eastern European clique, okay? I'm not even a Western European. I'm an American, okay? Flat out, I'm an American. Last time I checked, we won the Cold War. But beyond that, beyond that, beyond us winning the Cold War, what you have to understand is that, um, that you have to understand I'm outside of this little clique, this little Eastern European clique, and this is the same problem I had with Eliana, with her little Latino gaucho, I can't say that word, uh, clique, okay? You know, I'm an outsider. I'm not as important to you as other people. If I say something off color, oh my God, I can't believe you said that. Well, you know what? I'll say a lot more than that. And if you don't want that, oh well. Oh well. You know, you are quite a bit younger than me. I'm sorry I'm talking to you in this manner. But give me a goddamn break. At this point, give me a goddamn break. The, the amount of energy I put into to consoling you and making you feel better. And you promised me something that I really wanted, which was a wife and children. Okay? That's what you promised me. And then all of a sudden, you meet some Armenian gentleman and, you know, whatever. I don't care. I should have been more forthright with you and told you, don't go out with anybody. Okay? Don't go anywhere. Stay home. That's what I should have said, but I didn't say it. Okay? So, I don't know what to say other than, you know, we can make this work if you're willing to make it work. I'm not taking down the video I made Eliana. At least Eliana knows I know she's crazy. <laughs> Which, I guess she kind of knew that the second she went on Daywave. But at least she knows I know she's crazy. I don't know what's up with you. I really don't. But I will say this. I'm willing to work with you to help you feel better uh, and to work on our relationship if you want to. I don't think you want to. And the reason I don't think you want to, it doesn't, it's not rocket science to take a selfie of yourself and send it to me so I know what's going on. Okay? That's not crazy. That's not impossible. Okay? That's very easy to do. In fact, I did it. And I showed you I did it. Okay? And, you, you know, you commented on things. You're so worried that everything's going to get taken out of context. Everything's going to get taken out of context. Daywave is going to say this, and somebody's going to say that, and nah, 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 nah. Nobody knows who you are, if you remember, okay? So don't worry about that. But the fact of the matter is, you know, I try to defend you. You get mad that I defend you because I defended Eliana and another girl. Uh, you know, I can defend everybody at one time. I was building a case. The case is they're assholes, okay? 
I can defend you too. I've tried to defend you, but the thing is, there would be no need to defend you <laughs> if this wasn't so freaking nuts. The point is, a lot of this stuff that was happening, you kept blaming me and blaming me and blaming me. I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. No, a lot of it was you and a lot of it was, most of it is outside of our control. Most of it has to do with the geographic distance and most of it has to do with the fact that, you know, I can't be there and other people can be there. And then the other thing is, I can't help the fact that I'm, I don't speak like this. I don't speak like this. I try very hard, but I don't speak like this. Not well. Okay. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I've had the same issues with like, uh, you know, the, uh, the whole Latino thing. I can't do that either, man. I can't do that. You know, I can't do, I can't do. But the thing is, it's like, you know, whatever. I mean, you can take me as I am or not take me as I am. You claim that you want to be with me. Okay, be with me. Okay. January can't come quick enough. January can't come quick enough. Clearly, I can't come as quick as an Armenian dude. Okay. <laughs> so that's, that's where I'm coming from here. You want me to talk to your dad? No reason for me to talk to your dad. Okay. I'm not Eastern European. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> not trying to be mean. It's just, you know, I got a culture too. And my culture is very uh, different. Okay. Very uh, self-determined. I'm a very moral person, as you know. But the fact of the matter is, I, I don't really care too much what people's families think. I don't even have a family. I haven't had a family since I was a teenager. Okay. Which I think you know. But I haven't had a family since I was like 16 years old. No family. Okay. I don't care what people's families think. I'm more about individual self-determination. Okay. You should know this. You're a Talimite. Every man and every woman is a star. All is possible with God. There is no God except for man. Love is the law. Come on now. You know these things. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm not going to take down my video I made Eliana. It doesn't matter because Daywave already scooped that shit up and I'll be playing it tomorrow. Maybe I, maybe I will take it down because it doesn't matter. They can, they can butcher it and make it look like I'm some kind of crazed stalker now. Because uh, you know that's what they're going to be telling everybody happened between us. Even though you're the one that sought me out. So somehow I'm going to look like the lunatic. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, anyway, that's all for this video. I don't know what to tell you. If you want to work with me, I'll work with you. I'm a little lurked. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm not exactly happy. You can take a picture of yourself. You can send me a picture of yourself. You can show me that you're okay. You can show me you're not at a pub. You can show me you're not here. You're not there. I don't, I'm not asking anybody about your whereabouts. Why should I ask anybody about your whereabouts? I don't care what anybody else says. You could have easily taken a picture of yourself. You could have easily shown me where you were. You could have easily shown me you were safe. You could have easily shown me you weren't on the lap of some drunken, garlic-infused, vodka-soaked Armenian. I mean, it's not that difficult. Not that difficult. I did it. I showed you where I was. Showed you what was going on. I can do it again. I can do it right now. In fact, I am doing it right now, but with video. <laughs> That's all for this video. So I want to quickly make a correction. Um, unfortunately, my video last night for my little Zarina, uh, look, last night's situation was uh, predominantly, it seems, my fault. I had a severe misunderstanding of certain things. Um, look, I, I, what I want to let people understand is this is, this is not about any type of sexual immorality or anything like that. What happened was I simply, it was simply a misunderstanding brought on by things like I said in the video, geographical separation, differences in times, uh, like time zone differences and things of that nature. Uh, and I misunderstood things. I misunderstood things that she had stated to me, which made me assume the worst. I have problems with jealousy. I have problems with overreacting and I did overreact. It doesn't mean that there was nothing there. It just means that I overreacted to what was there. And I want people to understand that because I don't want people thinking that she's some kind of uh, deviant of any kind because she's not, okay? 
And that's the truth. She is not a deviant. She is、uh, super monogamous. And I still plan on marrying her, hopefully very soon. And that's really all that is the public's business. The only reason that video was made publicly is because I, it, things were breaking down in other forms of communication.、Uh, and what I want everybody to know, you know, yeah, if, if I thought she was a sexual deviant or somehow sexually immoral, I would not be planning on marrying her. And I am planning on marrying her. And I do think that her and I can work. Through anything if we work together and respect one another. And that's all for this video. So I want to put this out there. Apparently,、uh, my little angelic Zarina is a troll for Hatman and JJ Stoner, unfortunately.、Uh, I got suspicious originally because a couple days after talking to her, she had me delete all of my videos. That were for Eliana, and I did. I deleted like three plus years of, of、uh, videos, 80 some videos, okay? And I did that because she was jealous of Eliana, okay? And everything revolves around her jealousy of Eliana, her jealousy of Eliana. I don't even think she is jealous of Eliana because I don't think she's who she is. And、uh, just in case she is, I want her to know that, you know, I've given her plenty of chances to prove to me who she is. If she truly was who she said she was, and she truly did want to be my wife, and she truly did want to bear my children, and she truly did want to marry me, we could, you know, start all over, everything would be fine. I don't think that's the case, though. And the reason why I don't think that's the case is I kept asking her just to send me a simple photograph of herself. Just a simple photograph of herself. And the reason why is because she did send me a photo.、Uh, she claimed to be、um, 21 years old. Okay, a 21 year old、uh, Slavic girl. I'm not going to say the country, and I'm not going to say the country she resides in, just in case she's only a troll and not who I think she is. Because if she's just a troll, that's fine. If she's just some young kid, I don't want to mess with her. Okay, and I, I, I'm not trying to ruin her life, but I'm just leaving this out so that you understand what I'm saying, honey. So apparently, she claimed to be a 21 year old Slavic girl. I'm not going to say which country. Uh, that lost somebody in a, you know, in something. And I thought maybe, you know, the reason she was hesitant to send me a photo is she might be scarred or something. And、I'll, of course, and you know me, I'm not going to be bothered by somebody being deformed or something by an accident. I don't really care about looks if, I'm, if I've fallen in love with the person inside,、uh, which I did. And I, I will give this troll a lot of credit. I fell in love with them, unfortunately. <laughs> I fell in love with who they said they were.、Uh, the difference between this troll and you is I know who you are and I care greatly for you. I don't know if we can ever be together again、uh, like I had wanted to be as husband and wife and you know all that, but I can definitely be your friend again and I can definitely come down to Argentina to hang out with you. Okay? I don't think I can, after the day wave thing, I don't think I can put that behind me all the way. But this chick clearly is working with、uh, at least Hatman and JJ Stoner. And、uh, they were trying to get, I, I assume she was just trying to get me to say crazy stuff. And,、uh, you know, some of it she probably did. I know she has a number of compromising,、uh, you know, Well, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm sure Daywave already knows because she's already sent things to JJ Stoner.、Uh, my point is、uh, everybody with half a brain knows that you can take a selfie of yourself and send it to somebody. Now, I have seen、uh, she's sent me voice messages, things like that. For whatever reason, she can't get the phone app to work. The girl seems real. Really, she does. And I did really fall in love with her. And she had planned on coming up to see me.、Um, We're down to see me. I don't want to leave away which country she's in. <laughs> But the point is the point is the girl's fake. If, if she's not fake, she's a troll. Okay? And the reason I would assume that is she knows everything about every one of these people. From,、uh, from JJ, not JJ Stoner, but she knows the other ones like Hatman and Adonis Paul and、uh, who's the other one? Mersh. She actually thinks Mersh is cute. And it was funny, she asked me if, if Mersh was really, you know, mm hmm, yeah, I can't say, you know, brackets, whatever. And I said, well, he claims to be. <laughs> My point is, honey, 
what I'm going to say to you is this. If you want to be my friend again and put all this stuff behind us as best we can, I'm here for you. I've always been here for you, and I think you know that. And I think you understand by me proving to you, I'm not going to go on day wave radio and do anything to make you look silly um, or anything like that. I care greatly for you, Eliana. I always have. I don't think I can be with you like I had wanted to be with you unless you can prove to me otherwise, and I don't think you can. Uh, Maybe we just aren't as compatible as I thought, but I definitely want to be your friend again, and I definitely would hang out with you. And if you want it more, we could work at that. We could work at being more than friends. It's it's going to be hard after the whole day wave radio thing. But I think that we could be friends again, and I, I would like to be friends with you again. Another thing is they keep trying, this chick keeps trying to get me to try and get my refund back on the ticket. Now, that could be real. Maybe she uh, she's serious. I can't get my refund back on that ticket, so I might just have to eat the cost of that ticket. And I don't care. I mean, I... I, I might I'll, I'll probably come down anyway, okay? Because I know I'm not banned from Argentina, and I know you don't have a restraining order against me, and I know that was all baloney. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, um, if you really don't want to see me, I don't want to see you. But if you do want to see me, I very much want to see you. And I think that you know I'm your friend. I think you know I'm capable of immense love. And if you want some immense love, we could work at building that. I think you know that you had that from me at one time for seven years or so. And I think that, you know, we could work on that again. This person keeps saying, I'm trying to make you jealous. I'm trying to make you jealous. I'm trying to make you jealous. It had nothing to be to do with making you jealous. I took down three plus years of videos I made for you. I took 80 plus videos I made for you because this person was allegedly jealous of you. I've corrected things I stated that were based on my suspicions as to why, you know, what is this? Like, why can't you send me a simple photo of yourself? You know, even like, and especially when I'm saying, you know, even if you're scarred or deformed or or something of that nature, you know I don't care. I mean, obviously, if I've already fallen in love with the person inside, I don't care what the person on the outside looks like. And you, I know you know that because I never fell in love with the person on the outside with you. And that's the one thing that gives me a... uh, a leg up with these people is they're mesmerized by your beauty but your beauty is you know not what kept me i i like the you that is inside the you know the you that i fell in love with um and if we want to fall in love again we we probably will have to work on that because i i'm obviously going to have trust issues after the whole day wave thing but it doesn't mean that i i can never fall in love with you again it just means it's going to be difficult It's going to be difficult, but I care so much for you as a friend, and that's really all that is important to me is that you know I care about you as a friend. I'll be your buddy again. Maybe we can walk down, we can walk and hold hands at the obelisk in Buenos Aires. (laughs) Maybe we can do that, you know, maybe we can just get a cup of coffee. Obviously, if I come down, you don't have to spend every waking moment with me, but maybe you can just say hi to me, and that would be cool. Maybe we can get some tomato pie. (laughs) Because I'm a vegan, I can't have cheese on it. I can't have authentic cheese. <laughs> anyway, just know that I really care about you. I'm a real idiot for getting tricked like this by a, a, a day wave troll, or even worse, a hat man troll, or a JJ Stoner troll, or something like that. I'm very ashamed of myself. I do have some trinkets I bought her. Um, unfortunately, they don't fit into your <laughs> your religious affiliation, more so mine. But I do have um, the symbol of the uh, goddess Babylon, uh, you know, the, uh, the whore of Babylon, which is the goddess of the Thelemic religion. I could always give that to you, but I mean, <laughs> I think that goes a little bit against Catholicism. Anyway, just know that I, I do care greatly for you. I do love you as a friend. I love you as a friend. I used to love you as a lot more than a friend. I think that... I don't know what happened with Daywave. I think a lot of things happened. They they made you a lot angrier than you were, okay? And I'm sorry about that. And you're probably going to show back up on Daywave because you're under their little spell to say, and denounce me again. But anyway, if you want me back in your life as a buddy or more, we can work at the or more. I don't think the or more is going to come right away. I think we're going to have to work on on building our trust back up just a little bit, just a little bit after that. (laughs) But I'm always going to be your buddy. 
my little Frisian horse. <laughs> that was great when they go, why is he calling her a horse? <laughs> Just keep me in your thoughts. I'm here for you if you need me. And honestly, like uh, to Galena, Galena, if you really are who you say you are, if you're really that girl and you're not that other person I said I think you are, if you're really that girl and you, you really need a friend still, I'm here as your friend. Okay, I am here as a friend. I don't think that, you know, trolling for somebody is the worst sin of all. But if you're the person that I think you are, please stay away from me. Please stay away from me. Okay. Uh, anyway, just, uh, Eliana, know how much I care about you. And know that, yeah, up until very recently, I was prepared to, uh, you know, I would have married you in a second. But after you, you told them that you meant for me to kill myself and all that... Yeah, I, I kind of fell out of love with you really quick. It doesn't mean I can't be your friend again. It just means, you know, I, I it's going to take work on me loving you again like I used to love you. Doesn't mean it's impossible, but it, it, it I mean, it's probable even. If we, if we work and we work to build trust again and we can become friends again and maybe we can fall in love again. I don't know if you ever fell in love with me, okay? I think maybe I fell in love with you, but maybe I can fall in love with you again if we work at it or maybe you just want to be buddies and, and in that case I'm fine with just being your buddy I really do miss you quite a bit I have for quite a few years now and it, it really felt like somebody tore my heart out when you were on day wave okay just so you know um, but keep me in your thoughts know that I am available to be your buddy I don't know about being your husband again I would I would like to maybe eventually be but it's going to take a lot of work to build back my trust the way it used to be. Take care. I'm not going to say kiddo. Oh, my God, I said kiddo. I'm going to call you Eliana. Okay, that's what I'm going to call you. My little Incan princess. I can call you my little Incan princess. That doesn't sound too creepy. So, keep me in your thoughts. Please contact me. I'm not getting rid of this ticket uh, until I absolutely have to because it would be stupid for me to do that. Plus, I keep trying to get my refund back and they keep dicking me around. So, anyway... If you don't want me to waste the ticket, I'm not going to waste the ticket. I'll come down, have a cup of coffee with you. We'll call it a day. A little business meeting, you know what I mean? <laughs> business meeting. Over, uh, well, I can't, I can't actually have coffee, according to my cardiologist, so I'll have to have a decaf cup of coffee. Decaf coffee and cheeseless pizza. The biggest waste of time in Buenos Aires. <laughs> okay, Galena, this is what I need you to understand. I believe you that you're not a troll. I think what's going on is they're trying to make me distrust you by basically getting you to talk to them like they did with Eliana, blah, blah, blah. And this just is happening all over again, okay? I believe you. I believe you you're not a troll. I need a little more proof to believe more, but I believe you that you're not a troll. I believe you that you love me. I believe you. I, I want you to believe that I love you. I understand that you're concerned about giving me any identifying information about yourself because you're worried I'm just going to blast it all over the internet, okay? I get that. I'm not going to do that. You need to trust me. If you want me to trust you, you need to trust me. I need proof that you're who you are. I won't tell a living soul about it. I promise you. Nobody will know. As I said in the past, if you want to talk to my ex-girlfriend, she can verify for you that literally everything that Daywave Radio has said about me regarding, you know, me and my, my former friend, it's all bullshit. And she knows it for a fact. And she's willing to tell you that. She will tell you that for me. She's already told me that. I do love you. I believe that you love me. And I don't believe that you're a troll. You have to understand, I've been putting up with this for years. My brain has been scrambled by these people. I don't know who's telling me the truth and who isn't. I trusted you completely for the whole time we've been talking, okay? I want to trust you completely again. I do. But you have to understand why I don't trust you completely. I don't know who you are if I have no proof. And that's their goal. Their goal is to make me demand evidence from you to make you distrusting of me. And it's worked. But the fact of the matter is, the best thing that we can do is be 100% transparent with each other in private. That's what we need to do, is be 100% transparent with each other in private. 
So we know where the other one is coming from and we can trust the other one. Screw everybody else. Don't talk to Hatman. Don't talk to JJ. Don't talk to Daywave. Let's just keep everything between you and me. You have a very good support system at home. You can trust your father. If your father hates me, your father hates me. I don't care. But the fact of the matter is we need to trust ourselves and we need to trust each other and we need to put trust in each other. I trusted you completely the whole time we were talking until recently. And it's because, you know, people have been spreading untruths to me, I think, like what happened with Eliana. And I'm not going to let it happen again if I can help it. So we need to be 100% transparent with each other in private. I love you. And I believe you. I do believe you. And I believe you that you're not going to share everything all over the internet, like you said. I love you. You know you have what you have, okay? And I, I trust you because I do believe you that you're not going to give that to anybody. I care deeply for you. I love you. And no, I wasn't using you to make Eliana jealous. No, I wasn't using you as an incubator for my children, although technically part of the time you would be. I was using you because I wanted to have children with a girl that I really cared about, and I really care about you. I think you're smart. I think you're beautiful. Well, what you showed me, you're beautiful. And I think that we, we should work on being 100% transparent with each other privately. And I promise you, I will not tell another living soul anything about you if you don't want Okay, I'm sorry I've, I've said the things that I've said. My brain has been scrambled by these people. I don't know who's telling me the truth. I don't know who's lying to me. I can't trust anybody. Okay, it felt really good to be able to trust you for a short time. I, I obviously can't trust Eliana, even though I'm willing to work on rebuilding my trust with her as a friend. I can't trust her. I can't trust her worth anything because she already did what she did. I could trust you and I want to trust you again. I love you, Galena. I seriously love you. You might say, well, you're not angry. You're not sad. Like you said, I'm not angry. I'm not sad. I don't know what to think or feel at this moment. It's like all the emotion has been drained from me. I don't know what to think or feel. I know I loved you and I want to be in love with you again. But if you want me to be in love with you again, and if you want to love me again, we have to be 100% honest with each other. I love you. I really do. And I'm sorry I'm not more emotional, but that's, you know, I, I don't know what to believe at this point. Best wishes, sweetie. I hope you watch this video and I hope you understand where I'm coming from. And I do love you. You are my little angelic Zarina if you want to be. I do believe you. Thank you for telling me the things that you told me. I had to think about it and that's the problem is I have to keep thinking and thinking and thinking and it causes like mental exhaustion and that's the problem. And that's their goal is to keep me mentally exhausted and to turn everyone against one another. Turn me against you, turn you against me, turn me against Eliana, turn Eliana against me. That's why I won't appear on Daywave. Remember they were like, we gave you a chance to be on the show. I'm never going on any show. And why am I not going on any show? I'm not gonna let them turn me against anyone that I have no reason to be turned against. I have no reason to be mad at Eliana, not really. And I have no reason to be mad at you either. I love you. I, I believe you, you're not a troll, okay? They're the ones trying to turn you into a troll. They're the ones trying to get information out of you. I trust you, we need to be 100% transparent privately. Believe me, you, you can trust your dad. I have nobody really. I have nobody really. At least you have a dad that you can trust, you know what I mean? So take this video for what it's worth, I love you. Please give me more of a reason to trust you. And you can think about it, it doesn't have to be right away. Let's keep communication open doesn't have to be right away. I love you. So, uh, in the chat yesterday, it was, uh, you know, Daywave, uh, actually Royce Lopez, who I suppose is Daywave, was wondering, oh, well, we gave you a chance to come on the show, and you, we gave you a chance to tell your side of the story. What they gave was a chance for me to accidentally defame other people and accidentally dig a hole deeper for myself. The thing is, what people don't understand, see, this is how it's played. The, the whole goal is, well, number one, anything is indefensible against the court of public opinion. So you see, what they do to me is exactly what the mainstream media has done to people like Kyle Rittenhouse and other people like that. Uh, it doesn't always work. Thank goodness in Kyle Rittenhouse it didn't, or Rittenhouse's case it didn't. Uh, but it does work the majority of the time. So what they do is they edit, they, they talk over and they manipulate what is being said. Now, unfortunately, the reason I had uh, distrusted my uh, my fiance uh, 
uh, is because, unfortunately, uh, what happened was she had reached out to a couple of the ROTC folks trying to defend me, okay? The only problem is she doesn't understand it's indefensible. There's no way to defend somebody to these people because they don't want a defense. What they want is they want drama. And uh, this is hilariously strange because it is, I've, I've studied propaganda and I've studied espionage and I've studied all these things. And yeah, you can just get these books just so people know. Uh, I've studied uh, Soviet espionage, Israeli espionage, and uh, National Socialist uh, propaganda and American propaganda and Soviet propaganda. And, uh, of course, uh, 1960s U.S. communist propaganda, such as Saul Alinsky. And the one thing you'll see is communist propaganda is stupendous. Uh, it is much better than even U.S. psychological warfare, such as that by uh, Dr. Michael Aquino. Uh, the Soviet method of propaganda and sowing seeds of distrust is amazing. And this is exactly what Daywave does. The, the thing that amazes me... And it is actually interesting, like, for example, my fiance, Galena, I should have never stopped trusting her. But what it is, is because there have already been seeds of distrust sown in me through years of trolling. And in her, she doesn't have, she has her own seeds of distrust, which have been implanted in her, uh, not necessarily through trolling, but through other means. It's very easy to make people that have been conditioned to distrust, distrusting. Uh, not me so much. I, I should have listened to myself because I've learned there are some people that deserve blind faith. Okay, there are. Uh, and she's one of them. She deserves my blind faith. And I have to understand in the long run, what's the worst that can happen? Not much. There really isn't much that can happen that's bad. And she has had the opportunity to do bad things to me, and she hasn't done them. Uh, I've given her the opportunity. I've given her the ammunition to do anything bad to me. Hasn't taken place. She, I do not doubt that she has tried to defend me, but the problem is there is no defense to be had because it's a rigged system. And the reason I don't appear on Daywave, and I've stated this in Daywave comments, it would not be fair to Eliana. Did Eliana tell untruths about me? Absolutely. Was I angry about it? Initially, yes. Initially, yes, I was angry about some of the things. But, you know, when it really comes, when you, when you really get to examine it, I was very, 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 very good friends with Eliana for many years. And she knows that, and I know that. And that's all that matters. It's funny, these trolls are saying that I'm trying to use my fiance Galena to make Eliana jealous and get Eliana back. I was never with Eliana. What I find funny though is these trolls, for some reason, are saying, I have to, I'm trying to get Eliana back. You can't get back what you've never had. I've never had Eliana. I pursued a relationship with Eliana. The role that Eliana had in that was Eliana never told me to stop pursuing a relationship with her until sort of, uh, I wouldn't say recently, but towards the end of our communication, which was years ago. And I'm not, I don't lie about things. I do not lie about things. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't matter. But the thing is, yeah, she, she was concerned for my well-being, actually, because I, it kept getting, I, I kept messing up coming down. She never told me to stop pursuing her, okay, until the end, and that was out of concern for me, okay? Now, over the years, I probably have frustrated her, and there's a big difference between frustration and anger. A lot of people think I get angry, I get angry, I get angry. No, I get frustrated, because it's like talking to a wall, okay? Now, the thing that always amazed me about Eliana, Eliana is an amazing person. She's got me to change my view on race, uh, immensely change my view on race. Uh, she's got me to uh, change my view on many things on politics. She introduced me to uh, Peronism, which I believe is the most apex form of third positionism. Uh, she's, uh, I, I find her remarkable, her understanding of mathematics, her understanding of science, her understanding of languages. She is a very amazing person. 
She's also got me to question greatly the validity of an IQ test because I would think somebody with 148 IQ would be better at determining uh, what's going on. But this is where her neurological condition comes in, and people go, "Oh, you're trying to defame her, saying she has autism." No, she's the one that told me she had autism. Okay, and no, I'm not using that to defame her. I cared about her no matter what, as I think is very, very, very visible. No matter what, I care about her. I still care about her as my friend. But the one thing that cracks me up is it's not me saying that I was in a relationship with her. It's the trolls saying I was in a relationship with her. Now, people go, "Well, you said that you put your ex-girlfriend's health before your yours and Eliana's relationship." Yes. A relationship that I was pursuing and that Eliana didn't tell me to stop pursuing. You have to understand,、um, it, it's an interesting situation, and actually nobody has to understand anything. I'm just throwing this out there because I'm tired of the nonsense. But the whole reason I don't go on day wave is because it would be a very negative thing for my friend, who unfortunately has a fatal attraction to Untermenschen. Okay. There and and she'll get that because she's familiar with that word. Unlike the people at Daywave Radio, where if I say words like phenotype, their heads basically explode. So, in fact, you know what? I gotta get even with them. Phenotype, esotericism, big word, untermenschen, übermenschen, folkisch, <laughs> big word. Big word photosynthesis. There, that all have their heads swimming for a while,、uh, except for Frozen Asian. Actually, what was funny is the other day it seemed like Frozen Asian was、uh, paraphrasing Thus Sprach Zarathustra about how Royce is, is the dragon that I must slay. It was actually kind of funny. I wonder if Frozen Asian's ever sitting there like, God, I can't believe I'm sitting in a room full of morons like this. Luckily, it's not really a room. It's just there through,、uh, you know. Uh, internet connection, but my God, that poor guy, that poor guy. I don't know what to say.、Uh, he's probably starved for intellectual expression.、Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, the reason I don't go on Daywave is it would compound Eliana's distrust in me. It would make Eliana feel worse, and that's why I don't do it. I've left this in comments. I see no reason to harm her any more than she's already been harmed. And I have not purposely harmed her, but I think the whole situation has, and that's why I don't appear on Daywave. Is because I still consider her a friend of mine, and she is a friend of mine. Okay, that's the truth. That's the truth. And for the morons wondering why I referred to her as a pretty horse,、uh, no, that's not me that did that. I was simply reiterating something that she had said years back. And you know what? She is a very Very wonderful person. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, she is quite, quite angry at me, and I don't think that it's all my fault. Okay, that's the truth, and I think that that has been compounded with lies and the seeds of distrust being sown in her. Okay, but I, I see how this works because I watch how it works, and as I said, I have, I have highly educated myself. Uh, through actually through U.S. military、uh, material, you can get U.S. military material that examines Soviet propaganda and interrogation tactics and things of that, and even World War II era. Although a lot of that I have, it, it's from you know something someone else.、Uh, but the point is, yes, you can examine the. You can see what's going on here, and a lot of people will.、Uh, what's that guy Yuri Brezhnev or whatever the KGB agent that defected. If you watch what's going on, this is the same thing that the Soviets would do to make people go insane. You can't make me go insane. I'm already insane. <laughs> I'm immune to insanity because I'm already insane. But the point is, the point is, there's no reason for me to appear on Daywave to defend myself because it's not going to be my, a defense against myself. It's going to make me look even worse, and it would make. My friend look even worse, and I want to reiterate this one more time to the people. Galena is my fiance because Galena and I love each other. That's the truth. Okay, 
Eliana and I were never actually in a relationship. Ever. Never. Ever. Okay? Eliana and I were very good friends. I fell in love with Eliana. I don't think Eliana ever fell in love with me. I think it's a real shame, though, that things are going the way they are. Okay? I really do. I think it's a shame that she... If Eliana is afraid of me, she's not afraid of me because of anything that I've actually done. She's afraid of me because of lies or half-truths that were told to her. In fact, I have proof that she's not afraid of me. When she actually... Now, I don't know if I 100% believe what she said, but there was a troll that was trolling me years ago uh, named Tig Manson. And Eliana actually stepped in and said, look, I don't know, because he was responding on one of her comments, and she said she promised me that she didn't know who this person was, and that they were lying, and that she didn't have a child, and that she was still single. Okay? So, me, because I'm crazy, I figured by her telling me she's still single, that, that meant that she wasn't necessarily opposed to being with me. Now, I might have been wrong, okay, and that's fine. She might have just been trying to reassure me. Eliana was very thoughtful of how my of my feelings for many years. For many years she was, okay, and that might have just been what it was. And maybe I took it the wrong way. I probably did. But the point is that her and I were very good friends. Her and I share many similar interests. Her and I understand things a lot more deeply than I assume her and the people from Daywave Radio do. And it's a real shame that she has been excised from my life and she will never return because the wound has been cauterized. But the thing is, uh, there's nothing I can do about that and appearing on Daywave Radio is not going to do anything. It might reopen the wound, but you know, the graph will not take place. And Eliana will understand what that means because she's uh, far beyond the people of Daywave Radio. That's about it. Anyway, that's all for this video. My fiance Galena, I do trust her. Some people deserve blind trust. I had to remember that. Some people deserve faith. They deserve absolute faith. I had to remember that. And she does deserve that, because she has shown me nothing but love and respect from the moment she began talking to me. And that's all for this video. Look, I'm making this video for Galena's father in case he watches my YouTube channel. I think he does. Look, I know this is hard for anyone to understand. This harassment of me and everyone around me has been going on for at least six years or so, honestly, and it started with my friend Eliana, and they were harassing her. Um, I don't know what happened with her. I don't know what's going on with the situation. They harassed my ex-girlfriend. Uh, they've harassed me. They've harassed everyone. They've what's called doxed me, meaning released my addresses, my phone numbers, all this stuff. Look, Whatever they told you, I can promise you it's either not real or partially fabricated or it's greatly embellished. Um, actually, my brother, who misidentified himself to law enforcement as me, has no problem. I can get a hold of him. He has no problem in admitting what happened. Uh, I'm trying to clear that all up if that's what happened. That's baloney. It's just my brother's a complete degenerate, unfortunately. Uh, that took my identification and misidentified himself to law enforcement as me. I'm still working my way through what's called fingerprint verification to verify that I'm not the one that was blah, 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 blah with the police, okay? It didn't happen. There, this is all imaginary. This is all taking place online. It's not real. I know it seems real. It's not real, okay? Their goal is to isolate me from everyone, including your daughter. Your daughter is not a stupid idiot, though, which is wonderful. And I really respect your daughter for not being a complete idiot like Eliana was. Um, so that is the reason. Look, whether you let your daughter talk to me ever again or not, that's your choice. But it will be her choice eventually if she talks to me or not. That would be her choice. Um, I don't know what to say other than that. 
I love your daughter. I fell in love with your daughter through the love and respect that she showed me courageously. Unfortunately, her showing me the love and respect that she showed me, unfortunately, made her a target of these people. What they're doing is not taking place in reality. They're cowards. I'm not a coward. I don't hide behind the anonymity of the internet. My name is James Robert Clark III. I will give you anything you want on me. I'm not hiding. I've contacted the federal authorities about these people for what they're doing to me. Um, they're lying. They did not have me banned from the country of Argentina, and I have verification from the authorities in Argentina, from the Argentine consulate, that that never took place. This is all fake. Everything about it is fake. If your daughter truly loves me, and I truly love your daughter, I strongly encourage you to think about these things rationally. This is all fake. I don't know what to say other than that. The only way I've found to deal with it is to laugh it off and make fun of it. There's nothing else I can do. I'm sorry that your daughter became a target of this because she felt bad for me and decided to fall in love with me. Well, she didn't decide to fall in love with me. She just did. Okay. And I didn't make her fall in love with me. We just kind of fell in love with each other. Okay. It's, it's not her fault. If you want to blame me, please blame me. Of course. I mean, obviously for obvious reasons, she's much younger than I am and I'm she didn't do anything wrong, okay? I want you to understand, your daughter did nothing wrong. What these people are doing is criminal. It's unfortunate that I can't prove more, okay? That's what's going on. These people are stalkers. They have stalked me for over five years. They have harassed me. They have harassed people around me, and it's just ridiculous. I want you to understand though, this is not your daughter's fault, and I'm sorry that this has affected you and your daughter, and anyone else in your family if it has. Um, Galena, I do love you, but I do understand if you can't talk to me anymore. So just remember that, Galena, I do love you and I do understand everything. Take care, sweetie. Okay? Take care. I love you a lot, Galena. So, I want to give um, ROTC LLC a piece of my mind. Look, I'm going to do this one more time. I'm done. Okay? Uh, Eliana said she was getting married the other day, and I wished her the best, and I will continue to wish her the best, uh, just not publicly anymore. Okay? That's what it boils down to. Now, there's this idea that, you know, you want to push this idea that I'm obsessed with her and I'm stalking her. No, I'm not. It's ROTC that's stalking me. But I know that this isn't going to stop and it's just going to intensify like it did originally when I tried to give up on Eliana when, again, when somebody posed as her boyfriend, a Geraldo Perez, and I accepted it like a man and I, I actually thanked the gentleman for contacting me, although it turned out to be a, a fake person. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I have no problem with Eliana moving on with her life. I just wish she actually would. Okay. Now, apparently she's part of the community now. And I guess that, I don't know if that means the LGBTQ community or what exactly that means, but I know that she's part of the, uh, the community of ROTC, which I guess is another acronym like LGBTQ. I don't know. But what I'm going to say to ROTC is please stop harassing me. I have attempted to leave Eliana alone numerous times. If your goal was to get me to leave Eliana alone, I have attempted to. It is you people that keep bringing it up and it is her that keeps bringing it up in an attempt to get me to bring it up to get you people ratings. Okay, this harassment has gone on for five plus years through your proxies, through trolls, okay? And don't think I don't know the, they're your trolls. I have had people see that they, they've said that they've been up to this for at least, at least even eight, nine years they've claimed, okay? But I do know for a fact that these same trolls, such as Ice Queen, Tig Manson, etc., the trolls that are in your little comments sections, that these and chief handler and all these people i do know for a fact that they've been harassing me for at least around six years at least they've been harassing me since i was actively friends with eliana i can't change eliana's mind eliana will never be my friend again i i've come to that conclusion and that's fine i don't care you have her she's yours it's time for me to focus on my fiance my future wife 
who I will be with for the rest of my life. Okay, it's time for me to focus on building a happy, healthy, and strong family with my future wife. Okay, the harassment and the encroachment on people's privacy, and the uh, not not just me, not just my ex-girlfriend, not just my my fiance, but also other people related to my fiance, and the the encroachment on people's privacy, the absolute harassment in my situation, the threats to kill me, to shoot me, to sodomize me, to murder me, to set my apartment building on fire. With and mind you, it's not just me in my apartment building. I don't know how many other hundred people live there with me. But my point is, is this this aggressive, these aggressive threats through your proxies are outrageous. The fact that people have told me that they're at certain convenience stores right around the corner from me, and then when I go there, they're not there. That they're at certain taverns、uh, in my vicinity, and I go there, they're not there. You know, these threats don't work on me. But they do work on other people around me, and it's uncalled for, absolutely uncalled for. It is completely uncalled for to harass elderly individuals and terrify them just to get even with me. That is completely uncalled for, especially when the things you're harassing them with are completely unfounded and fabricated, and it's uncalled for and wrong, absolutely wrong. I'm done. I hope to God you're done. Because I'm getting fed up with the bullshit, completely fed up with the bullshit. Okay, so cut it the hell out. As for Eliana, I have always wished Eliana a happy, healthy, and fruitful life. It's not my fault that people posed as members of her family, as her boyfriend, as her fiance, as this, as that, etc., 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 over the years to agitate me. That was not me doing it. I have photographic evidence that it was other people. You can claim that it was me talking to myself, but not even a mentally challenged degenerate would believe that. Okay, it's just plain stupid. You people are stupid. Anybody with half a brain knows that you're liars. I don't understand why she doesn't know you're liars. My only guess is that you're blackmailing her, and by her I mean Eliana. That you're blackmailing her. It seems like she doesn't want to go along with this, and that she just goes a little further and a little further and a little further to appease you people. To me, it seems like she's being blackmailed, and there's nothing she can do about it. Well, what I want to tell her is there is something you can do about it. You can stop participating in the insanity. Just stop it. You're a good person. You know you're a good person, and it's absolutely absurd. I don't care if you ever talk to me again. I know we'll never be friends again. Frankly, at this point, I don't want to be friends with you after the way you've treated me. But the fact of the matter is, I know you're a good person, and this is wrong. It is absolutely wrong, and you know it's wrong, and you need to stop it. And that's all for this video. Look, I'm just gonna be a hundred percent clear. Calm and honest. I'm not happy with my last video. I came off explosive because I was angry that people were violating the privacy of、um, of my fiance's family. Okay, and of my fiance, and I、uh, exploded a little bit, and that wasn't appropriate. But what I want you to understand, look, I understand that there is. Zero chance of us being friends ever again. I don't care. But what I do want you to understand is, yeah, I tried to rekindle a friendship with you over the years, and even you know, a couple years ago, you had to shoot down a troll that was saying you were pregnant, or not even pregnant, that you had had a baby. And that you were happily married or happily living with a boyfriend, and you had to tell me, you you promised me that you didn't know who that person was, and that you hadn't had a child, and that you were still single. Okay. Now I, I stupidly took that as that you still may have wanted to be with me. Okay. That wasn't the case. I understand that now. I made a mistake. But I want you to understand the difference between what I did and what these people are doing. 
Number one, a lot of what I did was fueled, and I think you know this, by trolls, like the gentleman that agitated me, saying that I needed to leave you alone because you had a boyfriend and he knocked you up and you had a child and you were living in a, you know, you were you had a daughter and you were living with your boyfriend and you were living happily ever after, and I just needed to leave you alone, and then and then you had to come in and say no that you didn't have a kid, and that you were still single, okay? You chose to do that because you. I don't. I don't know why you chose to do that. I still don't know why. Okay, but what I do know is that you did interrupt him, and I have evidence of that. Okay, and it, it's a lot of my misbehavior over the years was fueled by these trolls. That I again, I have evidence. I have photographic evidence of these people. Going after me in my emails, going after me in the, primarily in the comments section of my YouTube videos,、uh, in Messenger, on Facebook, in Instagram, in the、uh, direct messenger of Instagram,、uh, on Instagram comments. I mean, I've been harassed for years, and a lot of this、uh, over you, over you, okay. And they were agitating me to get me to lash out, and that was when I would make these these really crazy videos that you said would upset you. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm over you. You wanted me to be over you. I'm over you. We're done, okay? I don't need to be involved in your life anymore, and I never did. I I would have let you alone originally if I thought I, my problem was I did not know that you were safe. And you can deny that, you know. You, well, really, you're not denying because you don't know what people were telling me because you're not me and you don't know what they were telling me. I was making these videos that made me look crazy, but I have evidence that shows otherwise that you don't even care about. Okay, I understand that, and I'm not forcing you to look at any of this. It's just a real shame. You know what kind of person I am. You know how much I cared about you. And you know that I was your friend, and frankly, I would have still been your friend if you were still treating me with any type of respect. But you're not, okay? You are not respecting me at all. Now, what's the difference between that, me trying to rekindle a communication with you to make sure that you're okay? That's what I was doing. And yes, did I have an ulterior、uh, ulterior motive? Yeah. I wanted to have a relationship with you, but it wasn't like I was hiding that. It wasn't like you didn't know that. Okay, you knew I wanted to be in a relationship with you before I was even pursuing a relationship with you. Okay, I th- or at least I think you knew that. I mean, we were we were friends for a year prior to the two years that I was pursuing a relationship with you, and I kept messing it up. Okay. But the fact of the matter is, I don't think that was exactly top secret information that you didn't know about. You were perfectly fine with me wanting to be in a relationship with you, as far as I knew. You never told me to stop pursuing a relationship with you until the end. And if you remember the reason, after two years of me pursuing a relationship with you, the reason you told me to stop pursuing a relationship with you was for my benefit, because you thought it was hurting me. That was the kind of person you used to be. That's not the kind of person you are now. And I understand that. I understand that. Now, what they're doing—they're constantly harassing me like they were, constantly posing like they were in the past as your boyfriend, as your fiance, as your、uh, what you call it, as your dad, as as. Associates of your father's, the so-called associates of your father's, that I know is a fabrication, etc., to try and agitate me. Okay, it doesn't agitate me anymore because I know it's baloney. The problem is they came out of the shadows and into the public, is you know the ROTC program. So now I know who's behind it. It doesn't agitate me like that anymore. So now that that doesn't agitate me, they're harassing me. They're threatening me. Uh, luckily, they finally, because I blocked all the numbers, they were threatening me over the phone. They've threatened,、uh, they've threatened to harass other people around me. Okay, that stopped eventually. Now they're going after other people to keep me from moving on with my life. Okay, to keep me from doing that, they're harassing 
elderly people, terrorizing elderly people to keep me from being able to move on with my life. Okay? That's what they're doing. Okay? That's not okay. That's not okay. And I know you know that's not okay. That's a lot different than me being concerned about your well-being. And I know you know I was concerned about your well-being. What they did to you was dishonest. They purposely worked you up. They purposely agitated you. That was not you on ROT. That was not you on the Daywave radio show. They purposely lied to you. They told you that I said you were after my money. What money? What money? I have no goddamned money. You have more money than I do. That's true. And I've clarified the fact that when you when I did offer you money, I offered you like 150 bucks years back, you turned me down. And the reason that you turned me down, if you remember, was because I was poor. That's what you told me. This is not a secret that I'm poor. Okay? I offered you money because you weren't doing well at the time. You're of course doing much better than I I am right now. Uh, and you know, that's, that's not the point. The point is I never said you were after my money. They did. I never said that you were after me for a green card. They did. Now the current girl, Galena, they're claiming she's after me for a green card. She's after me for money. She's after me for this. She's after me for that. She's not after me for anything. And neither were you. The reason they're saying this is because in their own minds, the only way a girl would ever talk to them is if they were paying them to talk to them. Okay? And I'm sorry that I'm getting agitated. It's just the, 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 the fact of the matter is you know what kind of person I am. You know me. You might pretend that you don't, you might act like you don't, you know me. You know my character. You know who I am. You're the one that told me we were good friends. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? And I think that's actually why you didn't give them the, what you didn't give them. It's because that was, if you remember, uh, that was actually what caused you to say, no, I consider us to be good friends. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? I know you do. You're the one that told me we were good friends. I didn't tell you that. You told me that. You need to start thinking like the decent person you are, or at least were. Please, please stop this. Please understand what's going on here. I've moved on. I've moved on. I don't want to be involved in your life at all anymore. I will not communicate with you anymore if you don't want me to. And you don't. And frankly, even if you do want me to communicate with you, I don't want to communicate with you ever again. Ever again, I don't want to communicate with you after the way you've treated me. And I'm sorry. Even if you apologize to me, even if you take back everything you did to me, no, I don't ever want to talk to you again. And I, I don't mean to speak this way to you, but this has been really taken to a level that is insane. People threatening to murder me. People threatening to rape me. People threatening to kill me. People telling me they're coming to get me. People threatening to set my apartment building on fire. Okay? This is ridiculous. They say, oh, take down the videos. I did take down the videos. I took down 80 plus videos that I made you over the years. 80 plus videos that I made you because I care about you. Think about that. Why did I make this channel? Because of you. To reach out to you. Because I care about you. So that we could build a rapport between me and you so that you wouldn't be surprised when I came down to see you, when you were expecting me to come down to see you, 
and you know you were coming, you know that you were expecting me to come down to see you. We have conversation. I have proof of conversation between me and you that you were expecting me to come down and see you. You know that, right? You know that. Remember the conversation we had about the Mapuche? And you were explaining to me, never speak about the Mapuche because they're a Chilean tribe. And you didn't want me to get murdered for speaking positively about the Mapuche when I asked you what type of indigenous you were, what type of uh, indigenous uh, tribe, you know, bloodline you had in you. And we were talking about your Incan heritage, okay? That was when you were expecting me to come down, okay? I admit it that I've taken certain things out of context, okay? I took the, the, the thing out of context about the, the whole chocolate situation, okay? I admitted that was taken out of context. They're lying to you. I'm not. They are. They're liars. They're the ones doing these horrible things. They're the ones trying to interfere with my relationship so I can move on with my life so that you don't have to worry about me making crazy videos like this which you won't anyway. I took all of the goddamn videos down. They're moving the goalpost every time. They want me off the internet. Ain't happening. It ain't happening. They think that they're gonna tell me what to do. They're not gonna tell me what to do. You know why? Look at what they do that at Drasdia or whatever the hell her name is, okay? They made her spend Thanksgiving alone. Now she's clearly mentally deranged. This poor woman is clearly mentally deranged. Look at what they do to her. Look at what they do to her. Do you think that's appropriate uh, behavior or from, from people to do that to somebody with mental health issues that severe? She clearly has severe mental health issues and they're clearly aggressively, aggressively treating her so that she behaves in bad ways. Telling her if she hits herself, they'll stop bothering her. If she does this, they'll stop bothering her. If she does that, they'll stop bothering her. Look at the one gentleman that uh, I share his videos sometimes because I think he's a really decent person. E.I. Brandon. Look what they do to that guy. Okay? Look at what they do to these people. These are the people that you consider your friends. That's fine. If these are your new friends, I don't want to be involved in your life. You truly are a vile person if these are the people that you want involved in your life okay but the point that i'm trying to make to you is what i was trying to do with you was coming from a place of concern as i said in the statement that i made when i was congratulating you on your on your future marriage i didn't want you to undervalue yourself because you are a very valuable person i believe that or at least I believe that there's a valuable person inside of you that I don't, unfortunately, I don't want anything to do with at this point, okay? I've moved on. I've moved on and I'm done with you. Please, please give me the respect of letting me be done with you. Stop this nonsense. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop participating in it. Tell these people that you're done and that you will not participate anymore, okay? You, it's not right that you're treating me like this for being concerned about you for so long. And you know that's where, where it was coming from. These people were lying to me. They were protecting, mean, I, you don't, like I said, you might not know that. You might not know that they were pretending to be your boyfriend and your fiance and your dad and your mom and, and former co-workers of mine and all sorts of shit. They were pretending to be everybody, okay? And I was right. Basically what they did is they stalked me out. They found out everything they could about me. But the thing is it doesn't even stop at harassing me and this is what you need to know. They're not just harassing me. They're harassing everyone around me. People that had had nothing to do with anything. They didn't do anything to you or anyone else. These are just people that know me. Some of them don't even know me. Okay, like the young lady that I'm, I'm trying to marry. I'm trying to marry this young lady and they're harassing her and her family. She didn't do anything to you or anyone else. 
Okay? It's not right. You know it's not right. You used to be a good person. I don't know what the hell happened to you. You used to be a good person. Start being a good person again. And this can start by you stopping this. Just stop it. So I wanted to make a quick video explaining some of the things I put in the, uh, the community tab. Uh, showing the harassment, ongoing harassment, the fabrication of things, etc. by ROTC and their legion of trolls, okay? And uh, yeah, I, I wanted to point out, yeah, I made a, a poll involving my former friend, right? And uh, the reason I did that, why did I do that? People go, you said you'd never, you said you wouldn't mention her again. <laughs> you said so. Yeah, do what we say. No. I said I would leave her alone. And I am leaving her alone. There is nothing that requires her to look at what I post. And you know, I was being, I was actually told by someone that I was disrespecting her and her fiancé, someone very close to me, that I was disrespecting her and her fiancé. Number one, her fiancé isn't real. You want to talk about how my, uh, my fiancé isn't real? No, my fiancé is very real. In fact, my fiancé is so real that you're harassing her and harassing her family, which is why I'm doing this. And there's a lot more of this I will be doing if you keep it up. Okay? That's the truth. Keep harassing me, keep impeding my ability to live my life, and I will keep keep up what I'm doing, okay? And the thing is, what I want to let my former friend know, you're the one that sided with these people that have been harassing me. For some of them, some of the trolls claim eight or nine years, uh, but all that I know about is maybe six years at the most. But you're the one that sided with these people. You're the one that knew about this because you interrupted the one troll a couple years ago to correct him. Okay, the, the troll Tig Manson. So you're the one that's doing this. I'm not doing this. I was never doing this. This whole time you could have simply said, like an adult, James, this is the situation. You never did that. You, quit, you kept making me think the worst. Now, you don't know, I'm not saying that you know the things these people were saying to me about the, uh, the what they were doing and all this stuff. Uh, very, very bad stuff. I had no way of knowing you were safe. And you know that I'm very protective of you, or was very protective of you. I won't be very protective of you ever again, because you're clearly not my comrade anymore. You have sided with the anti anti-nationalist forces of these people, okay? These hedonistic, fat, smelly slobs, okay? You and I, you and I, were working on hammering out a really, really good understanding over the years. We really did. And it's sad to see you do what you're doing now. And it's sad to see you impeding my progress in life. You wanted me to leave you alone? You wanted me to forget about you? I did. I found someone else. Or should I say someone else found me? And I was moving on. Until your new friends decided that they wanted to impede my ability to move on. Now, the beauty is, the things that I'm, promote, that I'm putting in my community tab, the screenshots, uh, yeah, uh, you have to understand, you have trolls, now I have trolls. You have driven people to me, I have hundreds of people helping me out now. Uh, and you know, not everything has to take place online if you're wondering why you're not knowing who's doing what or where it's coming from. Uh, smart people know how to operate offline too, because we're not computer dorks. Okay, so what you see happening is, and you will see more of this if you keep it up, you will see me showing the truth. Uh, nothing is as good as the truth. So when you're claiming things like you talked to me two times and you never said this and you never said that and I'm the harasser, well, that's not what the evidence shows. And you know, it's funny, the more people that view Day Wave Radio and these other ROTC programs, the more people are understanding reality on reality's terms and understanding this just doesn't make sense. 
It just doesn't make any sense. Now, unfortunately, you have probably effectively driven a wedge, a wedge between me and my fiance. Well, it's not going to last. It won't because my fiance and I will work through anything together. It's just a matter of doing it. And uh, nothing will separate us. Uh, certainly not a bunch of overweight uh, morons in various areas talking together on the internet like a bunch of fairies. Okay? So, I mean, I have tried, and I'm, I'm, I'm explaining this to you. And you know who you are. And they're going to go, yeah, it's Eliana. Yeah, it is Eliana. I have tried to reach out to you with as much concern and love and, and gentleness as I possibly could while I have people that are claiming to be on your side, claiming to represent you, threatening to ass rape me, threatening to burn me alive, threatening to murder me. You know, I have tried to reach out to you because I know what you go through. I looked into it. I studied your condition very thoroughly over the years and I'm very sympathetic to you or I should maybe say empathetic to you. And I care about you, or at least I did care about you. You even stopped me from being able to care about you. Something I didn't think anyone would do, but you did it. You made it so I don't care about you anymore, okay? Took a lot of work, but you did it. But I've done nothing but reach out to you with concern, with empathy, and with, with friendship, despite People threatening to sodomize me, people threatening to set me on fire, people threatening to shoot me, people threatening to kill me, people hacking my accounts, people doing all sorts of crap to me. I have continued to reach out to you as a friend, and your answer was to do what? Continue to harass me. You purposely tried to harass me. You lied about having me banned from a foreign country, well, not a foreign country to you, but you lied about having me banned from a country, you worked with these people to harass, intimidate, well, try to intimidate, nothing really intimidates me, and that's what's getting to them, is they don't understand, I don't get intimidated very easily, okay? But my point is, what, what really is going to keep this going is the fact that you, you, and your newfound friends at ROTC keep going after my fiance and my fiance's family okay that was the last straw you want me to move on you want me to forget about you you need to let me move on you need to let me forget about you and you know i truly cared about you i truly loved you for many years and i truly would sacri would have sacrificed anything for you for years and you're the one that shit all over that not me. Not me. Okay? So, the thing is, like I said, you know, the thing is they want me to take down my entire channel. They can take that ultimatum and they can shove it up their goddamn ass. That's what they can do with that. Okay? There is no way I am exiting the internet. Yeah, I made this channel to reach out to you because of your condition and to make things easier on you because of your condition and things like that so you can get to know me a little better. Well, that quit when you quit. Okay? So, no, that's not what this is about now. I use this channel to promote other things. Okay? And you know what? You don't want me involved in your life. I'm not involved in your life. I got rid of every video that I'm aware of. There might be one or two scragglers. But over 80 videos that I made you, I deleted on the uh, direction of my fiance. Uh, that's the truth. That's the truth. I did that for her. I did that for her benefit because she was obviously rightfully jealous of you. Okay? It was a very uh, reasonable concern based on my past with you. But the fact of the matter is, you are the past. And you will be in the past. Okay? If you keep harassing me, I will keep pointing out the truth. And the truth is that you are a liar. You are a horrible liar, too, because of your condition. And nothing you say makes any goddamn sense. Nothing ROTC says makes any goddamn sense. So I will continue to point out the truth. And if you want to continue this in the court of public opinion, you will continue to look like a frigging idiot, as will they. And that's where this is going to go. Okay? So keep it up. If you really want to keep this up, keep it up. But the fact of the matter is, you will not. 
you will not drive a wedge between me and my fiance. Now, that's all I'm going to say in this video. The community tab that ROTC was so gracious to give me by causing a gazillion trolls to subscribe to my channel, many of whom I'm winning over now, I might add. Many of whom I'm winning over because they're not complete freaking idiots. Okay, and they're seeing that none of this makes any sense whatsoever. The only thing that makes sense is that I'm telling the truth. Okay, so the point that I would like to make is if you want this to stop at this point, you need to be the one that stops it. You need to be the one to take action. You need to be the one to stop participating and stop defaming me and stop lying about me. Okay, and you need to tell your buddies at ROTC to stop harassing people. Especially people that didn't have anything to do with anything with you. Okay? The channel stays up. Everything stays up. My internet presence stays up. My internet presence will continue to grow. Because of you idiots. And that's all for this video. So, uh, unfortunately, thanks to the trolls at Daywave and other places. Well, not really Daywave. It's their horde of trolls that uh, work for them. Uh, my fiancé has been grounded, but what I want you to know, Galena, is that I love you very much, and I can't wait to talk to you again, because right now this has been hell, not being able to talk to you. I cannot wait to marry you, and I cannot wait to be with you forever. Um, I do love you, I love you no matter what, and like I said, there's nothing that we cannot work through together, and we will work through everything together. I love you so much, sweetie. And remember, love is the law. <laughs> I love you a lot, and I look forward to talking to you very soon. Mwah. Okay, I'm going to make a video real quick. So, what I want to point out is, number one, I'm not banned from the country of Argentina. I know this because I contacted the consulate of Argentina in Washington, D.C. for J.J. Stoner, who thinks he's so smart. Yes, you're correct. The consulate of Argentina is in Washington, D.C., the authorities that they communicated with to tell me I wasn't banned from Argentina by using my information that I gave them, my passport, my driver's license, etc., they are in the country of Argentina. So the authorities in Argentina communicated with the consulate that is full of Argentinians in Washington, D.C. to tell me I'm not banned from Argentina due to my request to find out whether I was banned or not from Argentina. I didn't come out with this because I didn't think it was a big deal, okay? And I didn't want Eliana to look like a liar, okay? That's in the past. I don't care if Eliana looks like a liar because she's been doing nothing but lying. So, if you're a liar, you look like, if you're a liar, people should know you're lying, okay? That's what it boils down to. If you are a liar, you're a liar. There's nothing I can do about that, okay? Now, I'm not going to be going to Argentina as of right now. And the reason why is for my fiance. When I can talk to her more freely, I will talk to her about this more freely and come to a better understanding with her about what's going on with her. Uh, maybe her and I could go together or maybe we don't need to go at all. I have no reason to go to Argentina without Eliana. That is the truth. What happened with the whole Argentina thing is I bought the ticket because I didn't know what was going on with my friend Eliana. I didn't know if she was in some sort of trouble or needed some sort of help. I really didn't. People can think I'm crazy or that I'm lying or that I'm talking to myself or what have you. The truth, the honest truth is there were a number of people that made me feel as though my friend at the time, not my friend right now, she's not my friend right now, but my friend at the time, Eliana, there were people that made me feel as though there might have been a reason that she wasn't communicating with me and that reason might have been that she was unsafe due to people in her life. That was why I got the plane ticket originally, was to find out what was going on with my friend, okay? That's what that was. That's the truth. I don't have a friend in Argentina anymore, okay? So, my only reason to go to Argentina is not to waste $788 that Expedia will not give me back. I've spent over 70 freaking hours on the phone counting it up with Expedia. 
they won't give me my goddamn money back. That was the reason I was going to Argentina. And it's dirt cheap to go to Argentina. I can rent. Now, I'm on housing. People know I'm on housing in the United States. I can rent a full house, a three-bedroom house in the expensive part of Buenos Aires for less than my rent on housing is here in the United States in the crappiest neighborhood in existence. So, no, it's not expensive to go to Argentina. Argentina is not an expensive country. Argentina is not a fancy country. Argentina thinks they're a fancy country. Argentina thinks a lot of things. But no, Argentina is not a super posh country that's super expensive or any of this crap. That's a bunch of baloney. In fact, what I would like to point out, I know all about, like, people are like, was that round trip? If you're, let's do JJ. Was that round trip or was that, was that one way? Was that round trip or was that one way? Anybody that has ever looked into traveling to the country of Argentina knows automatically that a U.S. citizen and most other citizens of the world have to have a ticket that is either a return ticket, meaning it's a two-way ticket, or that you have a ticket to follow through to another country after stopping in Argentina because Argentina doesn't want people just hanging out in their country and mooching off their social programs because they do have excellent social programs, okay? Thanks to Juan Perón. My point is, ultimately what's funny is I probably know more about living in Argentina at this point than Eliana does. With everything I've looked into, I probably know more about how to immigrate to Argentina, how to live in Argentina, what the rules are in Argentina, what the laws are in Argentina, what keeps you from getting into Argentina, why you can't get into Argentina, what would keep you from getting a visa in Argentina, how to get a visa in Argentina, why I can't get a visa in Argentina unless I marry an Argentinian because I don't have a job. I would need a job in Argentina. The amount of time that you're allowed to have lapses in employment before they deport you in Argentina. How many times you can go back and forth between Uruguay and Argentina before both countries get screwed, get mad at you and ban you from both countries. I know all of this crap. Why? Because I communicate it with the State Department, the CIA, uh, the consulate of Argentina, the U.S. consulate, uh, the U.S. embassy in Argentina, the uh, Argentina time embassy. Uh, if there's one thing I do is I research things thoroughly. Okay. And when you have lo- like Royce Lopez talking about how badass Argentina is, Argentina is less badass, particularly the nice parts of Argentina, like where I was going in Buenos Aires are far less badass than the part of town I live in right now. Okay. So it's, it's, I think it's very humorous how spoiled Americans think the whole rest of the world is like some kind of third world hellhole that you're lucky to survive if you go out at night. No, where I live is a third world hellhole where you don't want to go outside at night. Okay, that's the truth. Buenos Aires is muy bueno, where I live, muy no bueno. No bueno where I live, okay? So the point is... Like, the thing is, nobody's intimidating me out of going to Argentina. I'm not banned from going to Argentina. I never was banned from going to Argentina. And I'm not even going to get into the whole fact of how that's a crime when you're lying about things like that. Uh, It is, and I have been encouraged to uh, aid people in prosecuting people for doing that, which I've refused to do, because, again, I don't want to get certain people in trouble. But, yes... That is a crime to pretend to have someone banned from a foreign country. It is a crime. Okay? That's the truth. So right now, no, I'm not going to Argentina. I have no reason to go to Argentina without a friend in Argentina to meet me and have a cup of yerba or a gourd of yerba with and shoot the shit with. But I will say this, you know... The fact that you people talk about her the way that you do, look at my community tab, Eliana. If you see this video, look at my community tab. And if you find this to be humorous, I have lost you. I've lost you forever. And I I know I lost you as a friend forever. I know I lost you as a, uh, what do you call it? uh, I'm not even seeking a romantic relationship with you because you're freaking crazy. And I do have Galena now. So Galena is my wife, basically. That's the facts. I have Galena. Leave Galena alone. 
That's what I would like to say to everybody. But my point is, like, look, Eliana, if you let these people talk to you this way, and you think it's funny, and you think that they're not making fun of you, and taking advantage of you, and, and making you look stupid, and all this other crap, then you are far, far, far beyond my ability to help you in any way. Which is fine, because you clearly don't want my help. You clearly don't want my help. So you can go back to whatever you want to go back to. You can have your imaginary fiance. You can get your imaginary wedding on day wave and all this other horse shit. That's on you. The fact of the matter is I have done nothing but reach out to you with love and compassion and friendship and everything else while I thought people were going to ass rape me. While I thought people were going to set me on fire. While I thought people were going to shoot me. Okay, these are the threats I've endured simply to try and communicate with you. While they're talking about you the way that they are. Okay, you know, the way they speak about your body is absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And the one thing I will say is I am very happy that Galena found me because she's not a complete fucking idiot like you are. I am glad that she's not a complete fucking idiot, I'm glad that she doesn't trust these people, and I'm glad that she hasn't contacted these people about me, okay? That's what I'm glad of, okay? And I'm glad that I'm not going to lose her to these people, because she's not going to go and uh, converse with these people about me, because she knows they're horrible, rotten people. So I don't have to worry about losing her, she loves me the way I am. And that's the bottom line with that. Anyway, Eliana, I don't know what to tell you. You made your choices. I can't even be your friend. You don't even recognize basic truths of reality, and that's fine. I am happy to see that you did recognize that this was all started by Tig Manson, and that that was when you had to, quote, publicly acknowledge you didn't have a child. I still don't know how much of that I believe, but I am glad that you understand that that's what started this. It was not me. It wasn't me, okay? I didn't do that. He did that. And you know goddamn well Tig Manson is the name of one of their trolls. And I have emails showing it, me conversing with Tig Manson. And you can go, oh, well, that's him talking to himself. Everything's me talking to myself, right? And Galena's fake too, right? Galena's completely fake. That's why I've been talking to her for the past few weeks here. And that's why she knows she's very real, okay? And it doesn't matter whether she's fake or not. That, like, that's the whole fucking, the whole funny thing is, the fact that she knows she's real and the fact that I know she's real, that's more than enough, what do we care? What do we care? We know that the other one is real, that's all that matters. But the fact of the matter is, with Day Wave, and this is the thing, why am I going easy on other shows like Night Wave and Hat Man and all these things? Now, I'm driving Hat Man crazy because I'm not mentioning him and I'm not getting him his, uh, his proper, uh, views or whatever. Well, the reason why is they're not really fucking with me that much. Daywave, Royce, has taken this personally because he thinks that he can get Eliana. Well, I'm going to let you... So I'm going to make this here video for Galena's father. And why am I making this video for Galena's father? What I want you to know is your daughter obviously has fallen in love with me and obviously wants to be with me and she is going to be with me and that's her choice. She's an adult. I understand that you grounded her for talking to me or for whatever these people told you about me. But ultimately, regardless, I'm telling you right now, whatever they told you isn't true and I can verify that it isn't true. But more importantly, what you need to understand is that your daughter is an adult. She is a 21-year-old adult girl, okay? She's an adult woman. She will make her own decisions, and her decision is to be with me, obviously. 
The problem is, I have a feeling that what's impeding her from giving me proof that she is who she says she is, is you. I think that you're impeding her you're, because you're distrusting of everyone and everything, probably. Uh, you won't allow her to give me the proper material that I need to prove that she is who she is. Um, and the fact is, sir, that, you know, regardless, she will be with me if she wants to be with me. That's the truth. There's nothing going to stop her from being with me if she wants to be with me. You can't legally stop her, and that's it. I mean, and if she can't come to me, I can go there. I mean, it, the two adults obeying the law, there's nothing that can stop us, okay? My point is, is that you grounded her like a little girl, okay? For, I don't even know what, I wasn't there. I, I understand the whole partying thing, and I, look, that was me overreacting to some stuff. Again, because I don't know what's going on. I don't have a full understanding of what's going on, and I think primarily this is because of you, not her. Um, ultimately, she will be with me. Look, I've taken other people's daughters from them in the past. You're not, she's not gonna be the, uh, or she's not the first one. And who knows, she might not be the last one, although I do plan on being with her forever. Who knows, I might be taking somebody else's daughter from them in a few years. Uh, the point is, although I don't plan on it, I plan on Galena being my wife forever. My point is, is what's impeding her ability to have me trust her properly is probably you, sir. Uh, and that's not right. She has, chose to, she has chosen to be with me, she'll be with me. Uh, the only thing, the, the only person you're making this difficult on is her, not me, okay? You're not making anything difficult on me. You're making it difficult on her. You should have enough respect for her that she can trust herself, okay? That's what you should do. You should, you should have the ability to have her trust herself enough that she can trust me. Because I can tell you one thing, sir, I don't lie. Despite how bad everything might look, I don't lie. So you can think whatever you'd like, but the fact of the matter is, look, all I want is proof that she's who she is and that she communicates with me openly and honestly. And I have a feeling that you're a reason that she can't communicate with me openly and honestly. Look, I understand you're from the Soviet Union and all this other crap and you believe this way and you believe that way and everybody's out to get everybody and da 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 da. And to an extent that's true, but the fact of the matter is I'm not out to get her and she's not out to get me. I don't want anything from her. I already told her flat out I would sign prenuptial agreements so I can't get any of her money, okay? I don't want her money. I, do, I want her, okay? That, that's what I want. I want your daughter as my wife. And I don't need your permission for that. She is 21 years old, and she doesn't need your permission for that. She is 21 years old, and she can do what she wants. So I would appreciate you letting her communicate with me like an adult. She is not a child, she's an adult. Okay? Keep that in mind. You can't ground an adult. She's 21 years old. Whether she lives with you or not, she's not a prisoner. She's your daughter. Let her communicate with me freely, like a free person, okay? This isn't Soviet Russia. That's all for this video. So I wanted to cover why I don't believe Galena is a troll. Now, it is true that I have questions for Galena, okay? But the reason I don't believe she's a troll, or there's many, many reasons, uh, first and foremost, nobody seems to know who she is, and those that do seem to know who she is are publicly telling me things to try and sow distrust. This is a tactic to make somebody lose their um, trust in someone. This is not a tactic to have somebody win. If it were, they would be staying quiet until the surprise is revealed, until the you, the, uh, you know, the thing that breaks the person is revealed. But nobody seems to know who this person is, okay? Galena. And Galena told me nobody knows who she is, and that's a good thing. Uh, now, I have questions for this person, Galena, I do, especially considering she wants to marry me and wanted to marry me quite quickly, but I think this can be answered by certain other things that I know that the public doesn't know. Um, 
So why don't I think she's a troll? Well, again, nobody seems to know who she is and it seems to be driving people insane that are in these podcast communities, okay? I think she has her own reasons to be secretive and things of that nature. And if she does turn out to be a troll, what's the worst that can happen? I got played by a troll. It's not like that's anything new, okay? But I don't think she's a troll. In fact, Galena, I love you, and I hope you're watching this. Um, yeah, we'll work everything out. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> everything will work out in the long run. I don't believe you're a troll. Uh, take that for what it's worth. So, because nobody can shut up about my future wife, I'm going to make a multifaceted video about how I know she's not a troll. How did I meet Galena? Well, I met Galena because she started defending me from trolls in the comments sections of my videos and other people's videos. That's how I met Galena, okay? Now, what happened is we started talking privately and uh, yeah, we kind of fell in love a little bit, okay? Why, how, who knows? Who really knows, okay? We have very similar interests, we have very similar values, and it went from there, okay? So, how do I know she's not a troll? Well, the one thing is, is nobody can make up their mind. Is she fake? Is she my hand? Or are they sending her father false criminal records of mine? It can't be all three. Can't be all three. So, the fact is, I have people trying to sow seeds of distrust in me regarding her, and that's not right. That's not right. Okay, and I'm fed up with it, and it's not going to work. Yeah, it might have caused me to question some things that maybe should have been questioned, honestly. But the fact of the matter is, it's not going to change anything, because she is who she says she is. I know that, okay? And if this is a dude, everybody's saying it's a dude, this is the gayest dude in all history if this is a dude. There is no way a dude is talking like this. How do I know this? Because unlike Royce Lopez and the ROTC gang, uh, I actually talk to women. I don't just pay them for sex and then leave. So I actually talk to women and I know how women talk and I know how men talk. If this turns out to be a dude, I will be absolutely astonished. But I don't think she's a dude. I think she is exactly who she says she is. Okay? So let's cut the shit here. Now, as for her, uh, her father, look, I'm not a polygamist. There are these things in Western civilization called jokes, okay? Sometimes people make jokes. I made jokes, okay? They're called jokes. People make them all the time. Now, yeah, that's the truth. And even if it wasn't a joke, which it is a joke, but even if it wasn't a joke, if I'm marrying your daughter and my values are different than your values, and her values are different than your values, that's a different set of values than your values. Oh well. Oh well. Deal with it. Okay? Cut the crap. I'm marrying her, not you. Okay? And no, don't worry about that. I'm not a polygamist or a polyamorist or anything like that. That was called a joke. And even if it wasn't a joke, for example, the other young lady that I mentioned in that joke, she is also fiercely monogamous like your daughter. Okay? Well, at least was. I don't know what's going on in these comments sections anymore. But, <laughs> but she was fiercely monogamous like your daughter. So even if I did get them together, probably nothing would be happening. Okay? Because, you know, you have two very monogamous young ladies. I'm marrying one of them, I doubt anything would happen outside of what would be considered socially uh, normal to you, okay? Now, if I did have a different value system than you, or even than your daughter, it doesn't mean I would be exploring that different value system if I was married to your daughter, because I would respect your daughter enough not to do that. But no, I'm not a polygamist, okay? I can promise you I'm not a polygamist. Or at least not yet, anyway. No, I'm, jo I'm joking, that's called a joke. But the fact of the matter is, I'm marrying your daughter, sir. I'm not marrying you. And also, I live in the United States, not the USSR. We're allowed to have differing value systems than our parents in this country. 
okay? So, that's all for this video. Uh, whatever. Hey, Galena, it's James. I just wanted to remind you, um, I do trust you, I do love you, and I do believe you. One of the problems I've had, I know that you're uh, going to be able to talk to me soon again, and I'm sorry about a lot of this stuff. One of the problems I had is the gaslighting that these people were doing to me, making me question you and things like that. It was hard not to succumb to a little bit of it because I didn't have you to talk to and they knew that because of course you were grounded. I really did think that calling your dad out uh, would get him to unground you, but I guess not. Um, I can promise you this though, when you're with me, I'll never ground you. <laughs> so you won't have to worry about me grounding you ever. That's not going to happen. Uh, but what I do want you to know is I do love you. I do care about you. I do respect you. You mean the world to me at the moment. And I do plan on marrying you and being with you forever. I am so sorry about this. Um, I got worked up because it's very hard uh, these people have me questioning my own ability to perceive reality because of the gaslighting. And a lot of the gaslighting came from you know who. Uh, but the thing is, I trust you. You didn't do this to me. You've been solid. You've been consistent. You've been somebody I can trust and believe. And honestly, regardless of what they say about you, everything they say is inconsistent and clearly a lie because it's not accurate. It's not accurate or consistent. And they keep saying you're fake or they keep saying you're a guy or they keep saying this or they keep saying that. I trust you. I trust you. And I know you're definitely not a dude because there's no way a dude would say the things that you say the way you say them. I do trust you quite a bit, honey. Um, I just, look, I'm sorry I act the way I do sometimes, it's just, I, <laughs> I'm having trouble trusting my own perception of reality due to the years of this stuff. I've, I've put up with this for years, and it, it has gotten to me as far as my ability to trust people and things like that. And I know that you have the same problems, and we're going to work on that together. We're going to work on trusting each other, even if we can't trust anybody else. We can definitely trust one another. And uh, we're going to start doing that by, by beginning to trust one another. As soon as you can talk to me again, I, I already trust you and I know you already trust me and we're just going to have to build on the trust that's there so that we can start building a solid foundation of trust. We will be married in January. We will be together and we will be together forever. And that's the truth. I do love you very much. I can't wait. Um, can't wait to talk to you actually because this has been really ridiculous um there's in my opinion there's no reason that a 21 year old girl should not be able to uh talk to people i think it's it's insane actually i think it's absolutely insane um i can't wait to talk to you that's about what it boils down to i trust you i love you um we'll talk more obviously privately I just want you to know I'm in your corner, if you even know what that means, I'm sure you do. It's a pretty easy expression. But I'm in your corner, I'll be there for you. Uh, once you do eventually move in with me, don't worry about being grounded, that's not happening. And your days of baking bread will be over. I, I can even do that. <laughs> anyway, I love you so much. Um, get a hold of me when you can, okay? Mwah. So I'm going to make this video very clear. You know, everybody was wondering who the elderly man was that was being harassed. Well, it's Galena's father. Okay? Flat out, it's Galena's father. And, uh, yeah. It's not freaking cool to be harassing an elderly man to get at me. Okay? Now, this is the thing. You want to freaking try, uh, try and say, oh, do this and we'll not do this anymore. Well, uh... My fiance uh, got a call from Jeff Vader. Jeff Vader is one of the many trolls that work for Daywave. Telling her that she needs to tell me to unblock all of you. I've unblocked some of you. I've unblocked Adonis Paul on some of his accounts. And I've unblocked Hatman on one of his accounts. I believe his main account. And the reason why is they've begun to understand that, you know, they, they can treat me with respect. 
Okay, that's about what it what it boils down to. The second they stop treating me with respect, the second they get blocked again. What's actually sad about the whole situation? Now, I want everybody to be clear. Poor Galena. Now, this is what people don't understand. Galena is 21 years old. Okay, she's 21 years old. She is not emotionally mature enough. Really, not any woman is emotionally mature enough to deal with this kind of stalking and harassment. No woman is. Okay? But she is 21 years old. Okay? And then people are like, well, if she's so immature, why are you trying to bang her? Well, let me see. She's 21 years old. She's of consensual age. That's why. Okay? Now, she didn't want me to make this video because she thought it would make things worse. The only thing that has ever made anything worse with this situation is conceding to you retards. That's the only thing that has ever made anything worse. And being that she is going to be my wife, she needs to start understanding that she needs to start um, letting me do what I'm going to do that's in her best interest. So she was worried that it would make things worse if I called you out. So Jeff Vader, who's of, he's, Eng he's English from England, from UK, Yes, England, from England. He was one of the first people to get on my case over Eliana. Okay. Oh, that's right. I mentioned her name. Let's see. Oh, what's going to happen now? I mentioned her name. I didn't keep her name out my mouth. Out my mouth. I didn't keep her name out my mouth. Well, you motherfuckers, you, <laughs> you go and harass an elderly man over me to get at me. You're going to harass a 21-year-old girl, stalk a 21-year-old girl, hack her accounts to get her phone number, to call her, to intimidate her into getting me to unblock you people. And you expect me? I'm the bad guy, right? I'm the bad guy for reaching out to my friend with compassion, with concern, with love. That's what I did. You people are just flat-out cyber-stalking people. That is, that is what cyber stalking is, what you people are doing, okay? And that's the truth. That's the truth. And no, I'm not unblocking anybody that doesn't deserve to be unblocked. Yeah, I spent the other night in Adonis Paul's uh, live stream. I'm actually growing to like Mersh and Adonis Paul and even Hatman. One of the things I like about Hatman, he's had some raunchy ass people on his show, but the one thing I like about Hatman, he has, now I don't know if any of these people have kids and that might be why they actually are not being complete filthy scum like Royce. I think some of these people do have kids and they understand where I'm coming from with this. Look, the thing with Hatman is as bad as Hatman has been to try and get me to mention him on my on my, I wouldn't say my show, on my videos, I should say, uh, I don't have a show, but what people need to know, he's been respectful of Galena and Eliana. That's all I ask is people be respectful of these two women, okay? Something that Royce is incapable of doing. Mersh, Mersh has not been very respectful of Galena or Eliana, but Mersh has been respectful of me. That's the truth. That's the truth. Mersh has been respectful of me. Mersh has reached out to me with concern. And, you know, he's a decent dude. I really think Mersh is a decent dude, at least when it comes to me. I think he has issues with other people. What's really crazy is some of these people I could see myself hanging out with, having a beer with, like, like Hatman. I could probably see myself having a beer with Hatman. I really could go to the local pub and have a pint. You know what I mean? I could actually see myself doing that. Not supposed to drink alcohol, but if I could drink alcohol, I could see myself doing that with Hatman. Okay? My point is, is not all these people are bad people, but for whatever reason, certain members of this little clique of people have some sort of personal vendetta against me. If you're going to the trouble of hacking somebody's accounts to the point where you're finding their phone number to harass them in a foreign country, and I won't mention the foreign country because I'm not going to do that to her, but the fact of the matter is if you're harassing her, you know where she lives, and it's just not fucking right. It's not right to cyber stalk and harass a 21 year old girl that is not involved in this in any way. Any way she's not involved in this. And you can go, oh, well, you cyber stalked Eliana. You cyber stalked Eliana. 
I was trying to reopen communication with a girl that for no reason stopped communication with me. And I'm starting to think the reason she stopped it has to do with you assholes. Because right before she stopped talking to me, she started sounding like these other kooks on here about how Freemasons were coming to get her and the Illuminati was coming to get her and there's a Freemason conspiracy and all this crap. Now, I already know, and I'm going to get all the targeted individuals mad when I say this, I know all about Freemasonry. I've had family involved in Freemasonry. Not direct, fa- uh, not direct family, but past family. Um, I am not against Freemasonry. Okay? These people are not Freemasons. At the time that they started harassing me years ago and up until recently, like right now basically, I was swamped by people pretending to be Freemasons. Now, what people need to know is they get photos of people that are Freemasons and use them as their profile pictures. Furthermore, they, you can buy Masonic regalia quite easily through the mail, through the internet, and at Masonic stores. You do not have to be a Freemason to wear Masonic regalia. Another thing is, there are Masonic groups that are not Masonic. They are not part of the regular order of Freemasonry, or even any of the irregular orders of Freemasonry. Another thing that people need to know is regular Masons only occur in Great Britain and the Americas. So, Great Britain, Canada, the United States, and Mexico. Okay? Outside of that, there are no regular Masons. These are irregular Masons. These are Masons that do not follow the rules of Freemasonry. One of the rules of Freemasonry is that you must believe in a creator. Every Freemason I have ever met is a devout believer in God. Every Freemason that I've met is a Christian. I've met one that's a Catholic, which is very rare because Catholicism is against Freemasonry. But the majority of the Freemasons that I have met are either mainline Protestant, which is the most, the majority of them, or some type of kooky, born again, woohoo Christian. Okay? So it is not the Freemasons behind this. Doesn't mean that none of them are Freemasons. There's bad people everywhere. But I would be very doubtful that anybody involved in this is actually a Freemason. They're just douchebags on the internet. Now, one of the things that I want to explain to people is, and I'm going to leave a link to the video in the description. I've left it twice on my community tab. People need to learn to attack the attacker. This is something that L. Ron Hubbard came up with. Look, these people that are attacking us are far worse than us as targeted individuals, okay? We didn't do half the crap they're saying. Most of us didn't do any of it. So you need to attack back, and you need to, and by attack, I don't mean the use of physical violence. I mean the use of information, and I mean the use of conversation, and I mean the use of diffusion. That's what you need to do. Diffuse the situation. Okay? Tora, 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 as the Japanese would like to say. My point is, is you can't concede to these people. A minor concession, any concession, is a sign of weakness. You concede once and you'll end up like Adrasdia or Mary or whatever they're calling her. You never concede. Never negotiate with terrorists. Never. And that's what they are. These are cyber terrorists. Never negotiate with terrorists. That's why Jeff Vader I'm not unblocking any of you people. Ever. Ever. Okay? So don't pull this crap. Don't go harassing some young girl that you don't know. And you know what? She was very angry that you called her cute. Say, you know what? Don't call my wife cute. You British. uh, Better not say that. And they get really amped if I start using ethnic stuff. But my point is, my point is, stay the hell out of her life. Stay the hell out of her life. And if you don't, she's just going to have to learn to block you and uh, attack the attacker. That's what it boils down to. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I'm telling you this for the 
last time. Do not play with me. I've tried being nice. I've unblocked Adonis Paul. I've unblocked hot. Uh, I've unblocked Hatman. I will not unblock any of these r- disgusting people that make these disgusting comments about my female friends. And you can go, well, Eliana's not your friend. Eliana likes us talking about her the way we talk about her. You know what? Then you can talk about her the way you want to talk about her. But you ain't going to start talking about my goddamn wife that way. Get it? So, if Eliana really likes being talked about like that, that's her own mental health problem that she needs to work through. When I met that girl, Eliana, when I met her online, she was set on the fast track to be the Latina Isaac Newton. Now she's just being sexually harassed every day on some wannabe radio show. And I don't need, all I gotta do is leave a link to the videos of the show to show how disgusting you people are. And you can go, oh, it's just a joke, it's just a joke, it's just a joke, it's just a joke. It's not a goddamn joke. You don't talk about a young lady's body like that publicly. You don't do it. You don't do it. Screwed up, man. Really screwed up. Okay? So my friend, or former friend, went from being on the fast track to being the next great scientist to being what? Eye candy for a bunch of perverts? A bunch of fat, smelly perverts at that? Not even good-looking perverts. At least me, I'm a decent-looking pervert. Okay? And even I wouldn't take things to that level. I would never say these things to that young, to, to my former friend. Never. Never. I wouldn't say these things to my wife. I wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't say these things to other people's wives. So, stay the hell out of my life. Stay the hell out of her life. By her life, I mean Galena. If you don't stop, there will be problems. Hey, Galena, I'm going to try and be as easy and gentle on you as possible. Um, look, the reason I'm making this video public is because I'm getting tired of this shit. I believe you. I believe everything about you, okay? What I think the problem is, is I think your father is a fucking retard. That's what I think the problem is. When I ask you for proof of who you are, you need to give me proof of who you are. I believe you. I just think your father's a fucking retard. Seriously, he is a fucking retard, okay? So, the next time he grounds you, you call the fucking police on him and have his ass thrown in prison, okay? And the next time you see that I want proof of who you are, you send me proof of who you are. Because flat out, I'm tired of looking like a fucking idiot in public because of you, okay? Now, you know I love you. I think you know I love you. You gave me a way out, okay? And I didn't take that way out, and I never would take that way out. I do care about you. I do love you, and I, I look forward to marrying you, and I look forward to having children with you, okay? I don't believe you're a troll. I believe you're a real girl. But what you need to do is you need to start standing up for yourself, and you need to realize if you want to be my wife, the only important thing to you needs to be getting to me. Marrying me, getting impregnated by me, bearing my children, raising my children with me. Not your father. Your father treats you like shit. Your father uh, demoralizes you, puts you down, grounds you like a child. Fuck him. Fuck him. As far as this other shit, you know, you want me to help you with these trolls and dealing with these people that are fucking with you like they're fucking with you? How am I going to do that? You're not giving me enough information to deal with these people. You're not giving me anything. I'm asking you for screenshots. I'm asking you for information. Okay? I don't give a fuck about Eric Snowden. I don't give a fuck about the internet. I don't give a fuck about this shit. What I need is I need proof that you're who you are. Not because I don't believe you. Not because I don't believe you. But because I don't trust you. How can I trust somebody that can't do that? How can I trust somebody that can't trust me after I've done what I've done? Okay? 
Now, if you move in with me, I can guarantee you, you are not going to have to cook, clean, or bake a goddamn loaf of bread ever again in your goddamn life. You can focus on sleeping enough. Uh, you can focus on getting your, your recovering from, you know, whatever the hell is going on down there that I don't know. Okay. But you don't need to be putting up with this shit. If your dad grounds you, go to the goddamn police. And if you don't, I will. I'm tired of the crap. But I need to know that you're who you are. Because this is bullshit at this point. Absolute bullshit. Okay? So, I've had enough of this crap. You want to be my wife? Act like you're my wife. Obey me. Listen to me and do what I say. Okay? And I'm not like that, but it's getting to the point where I'm getting really fed the hell up with the crap. So if you want to be my wife, do what I say. Communicate with me. Fuck your father. Your father ain't shit anymore. I'm your daddy. Okay, so this is going to be the last time that Gay Wave gets in the middle of my regularly scheduled program. I had originally intended on making a video regarding what it was like growing up as a National Socialist Satanist. Can't do that because I have to make this video. So let me get this straight. Okay, so you're terrorizing my fiance and you're terrorizing her elderly father by saying that you've doxed him. Okay? Well, number one, you're lucky that he's old uh, and doesn't understand that doxing don't mean a damn thing and that everybody's information is on the internet any damn way. Okay? That's why it doesn't bother me. Okay? So, you're lucky about that, but what you don't understand is I really don't care. If you think that you're going to bother me by aggressively going after anyone that shows any sort of weakness in my life, you are sorely, sorely mistaken. Because I honestly don't care. Up until this point, I have been being nice because of Eliana. Okay? And because I didn't fully understand that there is no Eliana ever in my life ever again. I was trying to be nice and gentle to Eliana. Okay? So, you betrayed, or not betrayed, but whatever you did to Eliana to get Eliana to turn on me the way Eliana did, I don't know. And I don't care. I do know it had to, it had to do with the years of trolling. Okay? But I'm not like these other people. I don't believe in Freemasonry conspiracies and UFOs and space people and all that crap. I believe in hardcore reality. I believe in flesh and blood reality. Get it? So if you think you're going to intimidate me by targeting the weaklings in my life, you are sorely, sorely, sorely mistaken. One of the only domesticating factors in my life was Eliana. Dig what I'm saying? Do you dig what I'm saying? Now, you might not know what it's like to grow up as a Nazi Satanist, but I sure do. And that is who I am. Inside. You don't want me to be that outside. That's a fact. As for Galena, leave her the hell alone. Why the hell are you harassing a 21-year-old girl? What the hell is wrong with you people? You people are disgusting. What the hell are you doing harassing an elderly old man? What the hell is wrong with you people? There is something severely wrong with you people. You are disgusting, useless, worthless, vile vermin. The reason you hide behind the internet and this imaginary world is because it gives your lives some kind of meaning because you suck at life. That's the truth. You can't do anything in life. 
If you could, you'd be coming up to me in real life. You'd be trying to intimidate me in real life. Unfortunately, Galena and her father don't understand how impotent, useless, and weak you are. You are all weaklings. And you... This is crossing a line. And anyway, I'm telling you right, right now, even if you successfully get Galena to turn her back on me, it's not going to break me. And I'm going to do everything in my power to keep it from breaking her. What Galena needs to do is stop worrying about her goddamn father and start worrying about her goddamn self. Concentrate on herself, work on her own self-care, and concentrate on getting to me as soon as possible. That's what Galena needs to do. What her father needs to do is stop putting so much on a 21-year-old girl and understand the magical internet isn't that goddamn magical. It's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. And Galena, Galena's father should actually understand me at this point that this is all bullshit. I have been targeted by criminals. He's being targeted by the same criminals. He should be falling on my side now, but he's an idiot and a weakling. And that's what the problem is. So Galena, if you are watching this, concentrate on yourself Concentrate on your own self-care and understand there is no room for weakness with these people. If you show them any weakness, they will capitalize on it. They will crush you if you show them weakness. Cut them off, block them, or attack the attacker, as L. Ron Hubbard would say. Dig what I'm saying, Galena? Can you dig it? Do you understand what I'm saying? If you can't attack the attacker, do not engage. Engagement is a mistake if you cannot attack back and you cannot attack more ferociously. Do you understand what I'm saying? What you need to do is concentrate on yourself, on your own self-care, and concentrate on getting to me as soon as is possible. Okay? That's the end of this video. Look, Galena, I'm glad that you communicated with me. The reason I'm making this video public is you deserve a public apology for me yelling the way I did, okay? I think what you need to understand is my thoughts and my feelings matter as much as yours do, and that you need to understand, um, and we'll talk about this more in private, of course, I don't want to give too much away publicly, because this is just an apology, and I want you to understand that I'm apologizing for the way I spoke to you publicly, and that was wrong. Okay, that was very wrong of me. But what you need to understand is that my thoughts and my feelings matter just as much as yours and just as much as your father's if you're going to be in a relationship with me. If you're going to marry me like you want to marry me. Okay? I do love you. I love you very much. I know you're real. Okay? I just want to be able to trust you with my head as well as my heart. I trust you with my heart. I want to trust you with my head too, okay? And I think that the more you try to understand, like if you really love me as much as you say you love me, you'd understand what I'm saying, okay? And you wouldn't have a problem with understanding it as much as it seems that you do. And I'm not pushing you away by any stretch of the imagine, I'm not pushing, imagination, I'm not pushing you away. What I want to do is I want to solidify a solid relationship built on true trust, absolute trust. You can trust me. I haven't lied to you. I've given you the information that you need to prove that I am a real person, right? I'm a real living, breathing person. I want the same. That's all I want, okay? And... I just want you to understand, I do love you, I do care about you, I know you're a real girl, I know you're real, uh, I know that these people are actually fucking with you, but what I want is I want you to prove to me that I can trust you as much as you can trust me. You can trust me. I'm sorry that I lost my temper, you have to understand though, you're telling me about how these trolls are messing with you and how they're bothering you and 
all this crap and how they're stressing out your dad and all this, well, you know, I can only do so much. To, an, to a certain extent, you have to deal with it. I'm sorry that this is happening to you. It's not my fault. Your father probably blames me for everything because he doesn't understand anything and doesn't understand that these people can find people. And he probably blames me for everything because you've reached out to me. But that's not the case. The case is that we love each other. And we love each other very much. And you need to understand that if we love each other, we have to start building a mutual trust with one another. A solid trust. A trust that we both can believe in with our hearts and with our heads. Not just with our hearts. You have my full trust with my heart. I just want to be able to trust you with my head. You have to understand, it. the reason I'm having trouble trusting you is it seems like you don't trust me. You don't trust me enough to know who you are. Well, if you don't trust me enough to know who you are, how can I fully trust you with my head? I can trust you with my heart. I love you. I want to be with you for eternity. That's the truth. That's the truth. But what I need to know is I need to know that you're who you are. I need to know that for myself, not for the public, but for me. You know, everybody telling me you're fake, you're fake, you're fake, you're fake. Obviously, they are, they're idiots because their example of the fact that you're fake is that I said I love you twice and they are constantly harassing you and your father, so they know you're real. But what I need to know from you is that you're who you say you are. And the girl that I'm going to be greeting at the airport is you. And that's all I want to know. And I, I don't see why it's so outrageous. I don't see what's so crazy about that, okay? I don't see what's up with that. I mean, I love you, and I just want you to understand that my thoughts and my feelings and my reservations, they matter just as much as anybody else's in this relationship. They certainly should matter more than your father's if you're having a relationship with me. So I understand that you love your father. I understand that you respect your father, but you have to understand I'm not in a relationship with your father. You're not in a relationship with your father. We're in a relationship with one another. So if we're in a relationship with one another, we need to look out for one another and be able to trust one another. Your father, okay, you, tr you love your father, you respect your father, okay. But your father is not included in our relationship. You know, he wants to make fun of me for being a polygamist. What the hell's going on here? So <laughs> my point is, my point is, is that if you want me to trust you, you have to trust me and prove to me that you're who you say you are. I love you so much, Galena. I love you a lot. I'd like to make a truly, truly heartfelt apology to Galena's father. I'm sorry I lost my temper the way I did. Um, you need to understand, it's hard to understand if you're... Uh, if this isn't happening to you, and unfortunately, I guess it is happening to you at this point, uh, that these people have now targeted you uh, because your daughter loves me. And that's the reason why. At least I hope she still loves me. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry that I yelled at you the way I did, and I'm sorry I called you what I called you. Okay, I apologize. And I know that you love Galena a great deal or you wouldn't have involved yourself the way that you did. But you need to understand that I also love Galena a great deal. It's unfortunate that it's you that's keeping her from sending me the information I need to know she's real. And you might be saying, well, why do you need information that she's real? The reason why is because I'm being told every day, hundreds of times a day that she's fake, okay? And I know she's real, and I know that she truly loves me. You don't, you can't manufacture love like that. You can't manufacture reactions like that. She loves me, okay? And I understand that you're mad. I mean, I'm basically 20 years older than the girl. I would be angry if I were you too. I wouldn't want some Anglo-American filling my daughter with his Anglo-American baby batter either, if I was a Slavic dude from Russia, okay? Um, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm apologizing as, as best I can and as honestly as I can. I'm not going to make anything PG or anything. You might not even know what that means. I'm not going to make anything. Uh, I'm not going to censor anything. I talk the way I talk because that's the way I talk. Uh, fuck everyone. 
That's the bottom line. Galena, what you need to know is we're winning. Whether you want to believe it or not, we are winning. They did the same thing to me and Eliana. The goal is to make me look as crazy as possible by pestering me and sowing seeds of distrust in me towards you. The problem, the problem is that it's it, it makes me distrusting of you because I have no evidence to the contrary. I know you're who you are. I know that you can't manufacture emotion the way that you have emotion. You love me and I know that. And the things that you do make too much sense. The time zone you live in makes too much sense. They operate outside that time zone, which would be impossible unless they're on crank like a motherfucker. Anyway, you need to know that I know who you are. I love you. I know you love me or at least loved me unless I pushed you away. Uh, and you need to know that no matter what, we will prevail if we work together, but we have to work together. I'm very sorry that I said the things I did about your father. I don't understand why a grown man is grounding a grown woman. Okay, it's hard for me to understand. It doesn't compute in my mind because I'm not some kind of Ruski. Okay, it doesn't make sense to an American why a grown man is grounding a grown woman. I actually had the same problem with Eliana. Um, I don't, I can't wrap my head around how a grown man has this much control over their grown daughter. It doesn't compute under the American point of view of what it means to be a grown up. Okay, it doesn't mean I'm angry. I'm sorry. I am getting a little animated. I am, and I'm sorry about that. It's because they keep pestering me. And I want you to know that regardless of whether I sound angry, I'm not. It's frustration, and I love you no matter what. I will always love you.、Uh, I would appreciate some proof that you're who you are. Eventually, please just give me some proof before January. I hope to see you in January, and we will we will make ourselves whole. We will be whole with one another. We will we our love will make us whole if you allow it. Do not let these people get between us. Do not allow it. Don't don't do that. I trust you. I know you're not going to defame me. I just don't want you to allow them to get in between us like they're trying to do. You are stronger than Eliana. You are smarter than Eliana in this regard. And I need you to behave that way. I need you to know that I love you, and I need you to know that I am sorry. I'm extremely sorry for the way I treated your father. I will be better. I will. I promise to be better. It was just pissing me off because I'm. I, I just. I don't. It's a cultural thing. I can't grasp how a grown man has this much control over his grown daughter. It doesn't make sense to me. And it's a cultural issue. Okay, it is. It's probably one of many that will come up. But we will work through everything together as long as we're working together. I love you, honey. You're still my little angel. You're still my little Zarina, and I still love you. Please understand that, Galena. I do want you to know I am still very sorry about how I reacted to everything and how I yelled at your father. But what I do want you to know, if you don't want to be with me anymore, and you can put some thought into this, maybe two or three days, whatever. Let me know you don't want to be with me anymore. I still want to be with you very much. I recognize that you love me very much. I want that love. That is very important to me. That somebody loves me the way that you love me, and I know that you love me the way that you love me, or at least loved me.、Um, but in the same sense, if you're done with me, I need you to tell me you're done with me. Okay, this ghosting stuff that kids are doing now—I I don't understand it. I just I can't grasp this ghosting stuff. So if you're done with me, I would appreciate the respect of letting me know that you're done with me. When you know that you're done with me,、uh, so if that's the case, just let me know so that I can respect your wishes and leave you alone. I I don't understand ghosting, and I don't want another Eliana situation happening. Although I don't think it will, I'm not going to spend you know three years in a relationship that doesn't exist. But I do love you very much, and I hope that you still love me enough to know that I need some kind of.、Um, I, I need you to tell me you're done with me. I can't just know that you're done with me. So the the ghosting stuff, you can't do that to me. I don't get it. Okay, it's because I'm a million years old. But I do love you, 
and I hope you take into consideration everything I'm saying. If you're done with me, please have the respect to tell me you're done with me. I love you. So Hatman allegedly made a video claiming that he is Galena, which is not exactly what the video said, and I'm going to leave a link in the description. Now, what I find so humorous is assume, let's assume that Hatman was Galena the whole time. Uh, if Hatman was Galena, he is the gayest gay dude of all time. To actually be able to manufacture language like that, manufacture emotions like that, manufacture a personality like that, uh, that's, that's absolutely hilarious. I mean, if that really is him, he is by far the gayest gay dude in history. I have a friend that's a post-op transsexual. She, she is not this feminine. And she has had surgery to become a woman and identifies as a woman and her proper pronoun according to the law is she and she is not this feminine and she's very feminine okay so that's my point there so I do I have a friend that's a post-op transsexual that's nowhere near this feminine now if it really was hat man honestly that actually makes me feel better because it makes me know that a 21 year old girl wasn't pulled into something this ridiculous. Although, unfortunately, I don't think it was Hat Man, and I do unfortunately think that an innocent 21 year old girl was pulled into something that she didn't, she's not emotionally mature to deal with. Or emotionally mature enough to deal with. If you think this is going to break me, it's hilarious because all this does, if this was Hat Man, is prove that. He's this deeply disturbed. He's this psychologically unwell. He's this deranged. I'm not. <laughs> but again, unfortunately, I, I, I'm on, I unfortunately think it was a real young lady. And if, you know, Galena, I'm sorry. I really am sorry about this. Now, let's talk about how this isn't going to break me. If... If the Eliana thing didn't break me, let's see, Eliana is a legitimate superhuman. She is legit to the core, a superhuman. There's nothing fake about Eliana. She is as smart as people should know her to be. She is a genius. She is a brilliant person. She was on the fast track to be the next Isaac Newton, I swear. I swear on that. And she meant more to me than anything for like seven years, okay? So if three years of a consistent friendship of her and I didn't, uh, three years of a consistent friendship and then her abruptly, abruptly canceling our friendship for no good reason, if that didn't break me, if Eliana didn't break me, some little Russian girl that you guys took advantage of isn't going to break me. And hat man pretending to be some little Russian girl isn't going to break me. I do feel very sorry for Galena there because I do believe Galena is a real young lady. And I am sorry that she was sucked into this crap by you people. Anyway, that's all for this video. Just remember, I'm unbreakable. You guys are just completely freaking crazy. So Galena explained to me that she's not Hat Man, like I thought. I, I believed her the whole time. I'm very sorry that Galena got sucked into this. I'm sorry, Galena. I care about you. I do love you. I am willing to work with you if you're willing to work with me. I would simply like, you know, the, the whole reason this happened is I didn't have any proof that you're who you are, and it's not, it's not a real excuse. I should have believed you, but it's hard to believe you when I have so many people claiming that you're a guy or that you're not you or etc. I do believe you. I've always believed you, even though I didn't have anything to go on. And I want you to know that if you don't want to be with me, like as husband and wife, I will always be your friend. I promise you, I will always be your friend. I do care about you. You showed me so much love, kindness, and respect in the beginning. Uh, yeah, I quickly fell in love with you. Okay. Did it seem too good to be true? Yes. Maybe it was too good to be true. It doesn't matter. The, the facts are the facts here. I care about you. You care about me. We can continue as friends. We might even be able to salvage what's left of what we had. I didn't believe him to begin with. I knew he was lying. There's no way anybody can manufacture the kind of love, the emotion, 
and the reactions you have. It's just not possible. Or the situations that you were living through. It's just not possible. I love you a great deal, Galena. Keep that in mind. I'm sorry about everything. So I am very much relieved that uh, that Hatman was Galena, or Hatman's trolls were Galena, or whatever was going on there. I really can't keep track of the the gayness of the whole thing. It's very gay. This is the epitome of gay ops when a man is pretending to be a 21 year old girl to seduce a 38 year old man. This is the epitome of gay ops. But but yet it has a silver lining. And yes, Arantina is named after silver. And yes, yes, what this has shown me is yes, I can schedule my trip to Arantina. And I can go to Buenos Aires. And I can have the tomato pie. You see, the thing is, now that I know Galena, who is the only thing keeping me from going to Argentina with her whining, is not a real person, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about her jealousy of Eliana. I don't have to worry about any of this. I can schedule my flight. I can go to Buenos Aires. And I can enjoy my vegan tomato pie. Mucho, mucho deliciosa. That is what it will be. Mucho, mucho deliciosa. Muy, muy excelente. Taco, 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 taco. Ya, cha, 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 cha. So... While Royce tried to convince me I was banned from Argentina, breaking the law, I might add, you're not allowed to do that, I will be going to Argentina. I will not be seeing Eliana, though. I will not be seeing Eliana. But all that crap was fake, I know that from contacting the consulate and the consulate getting back to me with the truth. All lies! So the Galena thing shows that you can't trust these people worth a crap, right? But people do. People believe the things they say about me. But it's all false. It's all fallacious. So my point is, is that these people are predators. They are stalkers. They are not very mentally well people, of course. And the funny thing is, like Hatman, he said he won't release my emails. And he knows what Eliana put up with for years, allegedly. Yes, Eliana put up with lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of love. That's what Eliana put up with, was my love. Am I a perv? Yeah, I'm a perv. But at least I have the respect to keep my my perversity in private with people that want to share in my perversity. Or in the case of Hatman, a very weird older gentleman that is pretending to be a 21-year-old girl pretending to be somebody that wants to share in my perversity. Strange! Strange, yes, very strange. The other thing I would like to point out is somebody pointed out that Hatman is a devil worshipper and Galena was a devil worshipper. A Talimite is not a devil worshipper. So that's, you know, Hatman might have thought that maybe, but he's wrong. A Talimite is not a devil worshipper. Plain and simple. My point is, is all this does is shows the disturbed and emotionally unstable nature of the people behind these uh, psyops out of boredom. That's what these are. These are psyops out of boredom. Why am I being targeted? At this point, I think it's just because people are bored and they think they can get a rise out of me. And they can get a rise out of me. But you know what? Not anymore. I will go to Argentina. And you know what? I have given up on white chicks. I'm done with white chicks. Galena was the last proof. White chicks are fake. Literally. If you're with a white chick, it might be an aged Englishman pretending to be a Russian girl online. (laughs) I'm sticking with those mestizas. Eliana's a real Wiemons. She is a real Wiemons. Eliana, real women's, real women's, uh, but yeah, it's not going to be Eliana, I'll get me a nice mestiza down there in Arantina, a nice soft uh, mestiza with caramel colored skin, Arantina, Buenos Aires, Churro, 
and other random Spanish words. Taco, taco, taco. So I'm making this video to thank somebody. Now, what I want them to know, look, this is somebody that's been paying a lot of attention to the exchanges on Daywave and the exchanges on the various other programs in the ROTC family. And this isn't this isn't somebody that anybody knows, so don't worry about that. But what this person did, now they told me a lot of things, and it was a lot of stuff I didn't want to hear, but it was a lot of stuff I needed to hear. And this is somebody that was really close to me throughout all this, whether they know it or not. Uh, their opinion has always mattered to me about everything, okay? And what this person did is they told me a lot of things that maybe I didn't want to hear and maybe... I didn't, I, I couldn't hear, maybe, in the past, but the way this person explained things to me, and I'm not explaining who this person is because they don't want to be mentioned and they're not going to be mentioned ever again, but I appreciate them giving me the closure I needed over a lot of things, helping me to understand a lot of things that I couldn't understand in the past because I just didn't have the information that I needed. And they were the only person that could give me that information. And now that they gave me that information, it allows me to see things the way that I kind of figured they were. Maybe I didn't want to think they were that way. Um, but now I know the way that they were. Uh, I still respect this person a great deal. And that's why they'll remain nameless, because they, they don't want to be named, and that's fine. Uh, they are somebody that, that paid a great deal of attention to this situation uh, throughout the whole thing. Uh, I think I may have lost them as a friend, but that's okay. That's okay. Thank you. You know who you are. Take care. I need you to understand that. What you gave me was the clarity that I needed to gain closure. Thank you. So I wanted to do a quick video about the ways in which Gay Wave lost. Now there's a number of ways Gay Wave lost. First and foremost, they couldn't get they couldn't get to me. They had to stop covering me. They couldn't get to me. They can't get to me. I'm impervious to their nonsense. So that's the first way they lost. They just can't cover me. They can't intimidate me. They can't destroy me. The second way that Gay Wave lost was essentially what happened was uh, I'm actually better off now than I was before they started harassing me. And it's funny because they think they're proving something by proving that Hatman is clearly a closeted homosexual that's not very far in the closet. Uh, the other thing is they actually helped me find out that I still had criminal records that my brother had committed, you know, in my name that I need to cover up, that I thought I was done with this. They actually helped me find these criminal records to, exo to exonerate myself. I'm still going to Argentina. Their nonsense about me being banned from Argentina, all that really did was allow me to work again on my ability to communicate more with the Argentine consulate. Or consulate. Uh, I, uh, I proved to AP I have a valid passport. Uh, let's see, there's, there's a lot of ways in which Gay Wave lost. One of the main ways is, and, and the person won't remain nameless, but finally the right person finally got a hold of me regarding the whole thing, okay? The whole thing. And uh, finally I, I'm able to let go of the past because I realized that I didn't betray my friend, okay? And that, that was the ultimate, like honestly, it was a huge, huge misunderstanding but Gay Wave is full of uh, horny retards that don't know how to understand things. And luckily, someone, uh, someone that was one of the right people got a hold of me and explained things to me so that I could understand it. And that was what was important for me to put closure to this, to realize that I was not betraying my friend by giving up. And I, I didn't give up on her, on, on that person. I didn't, well, not the person that contacted me. I didn't give up on her. And that's what was important, is that I wasn't giving up on her prematurely, okay? And, you know, I won. I'm still going to Argentina. I'm, I, I found out things I didn't even know because they actually looked it up for me regarding my brother. 
okay, regarding criminal records that I didn't commit, so I'm working on getting a fingerprint determination done for that, so that I finally have a clear criminal record again, uh, and, you know, it's all hilarious, it's very hilarious, and on top of that, uh, you know, Royce admitted he was a liar on Gay Wave and encouraged me to sue him, what he doesn't understand is he actually broke the law, I don't have to sue him, if I cooperate, he committed a felony, he committed a crime, that's what he did on, on the video, I don't have to do anything except cooperate with the authorities if I want it to, and I don't really care to, what's funny is, uh, Mersh is obviously jealous as hell about my lifestyle, uh, I live a much better lifestyle than any of these idiots do. I live a much, 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 much better lifestyle than any of these people are living right now. And how do I do that? Well, because I am smarter than them. I am much more intelligent than they are. And the other thing is, what I want to point out is nobody loves Royce Lopez. Nobody. There's nobody in the whole world that loves Royce Lopez. It's that simple. But the facts are the facts, man. I came out on top. Gay Wave lost. Gay Wave can't intimidate me. I am unbreakable. As I've said, I am unbreakable. Booyah. And when Mersh is talking about my undeserved self-confidence, when you've almost froze to death as many times as I've, I have and you've survived, that's earned self-confidence. When you've won as many life or death fights as I have, that's confidence. I'm not talking about fights in a ring or anything like that. I'm talking about real fights when people are trying to kill you and you win that. That's earned confidence, buddy. I'm also an accomplished martial artist. I'm an accomplished outdoorsman. I'm an accomplished a lot of things. Uh, I've accomplished quite a bit in my life. Okay. Uh, even even before before Mersh was even accomplishing anything, back when I was a child, back when I was like 12 years old in the Boy Scouts, I was certified in water rescue. I'm a, I, I was a citizen responder, uh, I have to renew it, but I was a citizen responder for the American Red Cross, I had my certifications for that for a job I had. Uh, I've accomplished quite a bit in my life, quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit. Uh, these folks have accomplished very little. They make fun of people on the internet. That's their accomplishments. I've actually done things. I do things. It's a funny. I go to the National Shrine of Chesjahova, or whatever the hell it is. It's a, a Polak shrine up in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. And everybody goes, it's so nice to see you doing something outside. So nice. I do a lot outside. This just isn't Facebook. I don't post everything that I do to here. Okay, but I do want everybody to know when I get to uh, when I get to Argentina, I will be taking many photos and I will be taking much video and I will take I will make sure to take a video of myself in front of the obelisk, the obelisk in Buenos Aires, which was originally where I had planned on the one thing I wanted to see. I don't know why. I just like obelisks. It must be the internal uh, Egyptologist in me that loves them so much. But the facts are the facts. Facts are the facts, facts are the facts, facts are the facts. There you go, that's three, actually four times for Mr. Vance Kavanaugh, or whatever the hell his name is. There you go, three times plus one, three times plus one, three times plus one, three times plus one. There you go, four times, ooh, for Mr. Vance Kavanaugh, or whatever the hell his name is, Roy's, whatever. But the point is... You didn't stop me of anything. I came out on top. I came out stronger. I came out better. And you know, the, the trolling, what does that prove? That you people are sick and twisted individuals? We knew that already. It does nothing. It does nothing to me. I came out on top. You're the losers. You lost. If anything, even if I gained nothing from this, I'd still be back where I started. Eliana not talking to me. Big freaking deal. That's where I started with all this. And you know what? I came out on top. I came out on top. You lost. I won. Taco, taco, taco. Yeah, I'm making this video because I'm fed the hell up with someone that I should have been fed the hell up with a long time ago. And her name is Eliana. Okay? 
Now, this is all your fault for involving these sociopaths in our lives. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Now, they want to talk about these emails. Now, I was trying to throw people off so people didn't know who I was talking to via email who was pretending to be Galena, and I knew who it was from the beginning. And it was Eliana. And the reason I knew it was Eliana is the conversations we were having and the things we were talking about were very similar to me and Eliana. And then eventually, uh, I mean, she even talked about the same philosophers like Immanuel Kant and Friedrich Nietzsche and Ayn Rand. Now, she pretended to like Nietzsche because I think she thought I was more of a Nietzschean than I actually was. But she started talking about Immanuel Kant and utopianism, which I'm not a utopian by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I I am in the sense that I, well, that's not important. We're just going to concentrate on Eliana for now. Not politics, not uh, not economics, nothing like that. We're going to concentrate right on Eliana because Eliana wants the attention. Eliana will get the attention. Okay? So after this all settled down, I cornered her. And I got her to admit who she was, okay? And I knew who she was the whole time. There was no way some fruity Brit is that convincingly the perfect girl for me. And to be quite honest, you probably should have dumbed her down a little bit. But Eliana can't dumb anything down because she's a freaking genius. You sent the wrong girl to try and seduce me. Clearly. Because I knew more or less the whole time that it was Eliana playing the part of another girl. I didn't call it out, honestly, because I liked it. I liked talking to Eliana in the way that we used to talk to each other. And then some. (laughs) And then some. But those emails are emails between Eliana and me. That's what they are. And I did corner her. And I did negotiate with her. And I did promise to respect her and promise not to mention her anymore. But how can I not mention somebody that people keep harassing me about? And I will be going to Argentina. I won't be seeing Eliana. I've never said I was seeing Eliana. And why am I going to Argentina? I'm going to Argentina because I can go to Argentina. Because I want to go to Argentina. And because I'm not wasting my goddamn money. And I'm not giving that fat hippopotamus Royce a free ticket to see my former friend. That's the truth. So I'm going to Argentina. And by the way, Mersh, tomato pie and pizza are very, very, very big staple street foods of Argentina. Very big. And you might, might, might think about this. There is a very high amount of Italians in Argentina. A lot of people are part Italian in Argentina. Okay? In fact, that young lady, Angela Poca, the, the, the doctor of anthropology, uh, her last name, Poca, while she is from Naples, uh, the people, her name is most prevalent, not, not in Italy, but in Argentina. So Poca is actually more common of a last name, an Italian last name in Argentina than it is in, uh, in where do you call it, in, uh, in Italy. So it's kind of like the Irish and the Germans in the United States. There's more Germans and more Irish in the United States than there are in Germany or Ireland. It's just the facts. Again, the facts are the facts. But if you release these emails, all you're doing is releasing the raunchy way that me and Eliana were talking to each other. And, you know, after what Eliana told me, how disrespectful she was to me, and I still reached out to her with love and kindness and respect because I care about the girl that I thought I knew, even though she told me that it was all fake. And I I don't believe that. I believe she cared about me. I really do. But I am fed the hell up with this crap. Fed the hell up with it. All of this is her fault. All of it. She should have never involved these lunatics. All she would have had to do the whole time to get me to leave her alone is exactly what she just did a day or two ago by just telling me, leave me alone. She never did that. Never did that. And beyond that, she could have explained to me she was safe because I was being led to believe by these trolls 
Now, the trolls were involved before Eliana involved them in the Eliana situation, but they were involved just by trolling my videos and harassing me and calling me this and calling me that and whatever. That's not a big deal. The second you involve my friend that I loved and wanted to spend the rest of my life with and impregnate her and have a number of children with her and raise our children together, when you start involving somebody that I saw as a literal goddess... I get a little mad. And that's what's been going on for years. And I don't think any less of Eliana as far as her intellectual capacity or things of that nature. But she is a very mean and nasty person. And I don't believe her that she never cared about me. I believe that she outgrew me. And I believe she does think I'm a loser now. And she does think I'm useless. And she does think I'm repulsive and all this stuff. But I know for a fact she didn't in the past. And that's what's sad. I wish the... Eliana, I wish you could remember how much we did care about each other. I know you say you didn't care about me, but you didn't make that stuff up. It's a shame that you outgrew me, but I can deal with that. People outgrow people. Okay? But you didn't have to be this nasty and this mean and include this many goddamn lunatics into the situation. How did you think this was going to turn out? How did you think it was going to turn out? I'm serious. You could have just talked to me. You could you could have shown me the respect that I showed you. Well, maybe not the respect I showed you because I showed you way too much respect. But you could have shown me basic human respect like you used to. Do you remember when you were my friend? Does it do you even remember that? Like were you in a car accident? Did you get a severe head injury? Like what the hell is wrong with you? You don't remember anything, it seems. And it's freaking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And if you, if, if Hatman re- releases his stupid emails, which are our private conversation between each other, and the stuff that we said to each other, which was, yeah, pretty, pretty raunchy stuff. But, you know, it takes two to tango, as you know, because you used to tango. It takes two to tango. You can't tango by yourself. You need to press your body up against someone. Uh, And you were pressing your body up against mine through email, if you know what I'm talking about. So you were the one that misled me into this uh, this relationship with this young, allegedly Russian girl. Uh, They should have dumbed the person down a bit because that was a dead giveaway. But you are just such a nasty, mean spirited person. And all you had to do was explain to me, James, I'm okay, I'm safe, I can talk to you. But you didn't have to talk to me more than just to say, I can talk to you, I'm safe, don't worry about it. You got me to get a plane ticket to come down to see what somebody might be doing to you because I was so concerned about you. Okay? I am broke. I don't have money. It took some jostling around and some figuring out to find out how to leave from New York City to come down to see you, or, or not even to see you, to find out what the hell was going on. I didn't know if you were kept prisoner in somebody's wine cellar or some crap. I, I just didn't know. And then I have these people telling me all sorts of crazy shit. You know, they're going to kick my ass. They're going to make me eat their asshole. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. How would you interpret that when the person that was consistently your friend for years abruptly stops talking to you and then they're telling you, if you go down to see her, we're going to kill you? Well, that tells me that in, in my mind, that tells me that something bad is happening to my friend that I want to live with for the rest of my life, that I want to have children with, that I want to raise my children with, and that I want to be with. That's what that tells me. I, and, and the whole thing about the autism, I'm getting real tired of people saying I have autism. If I did have autism, I wouldn't fucking hide it. I don't care. But the person that has autism is Eliana. And I'm tired of it. You know, I've gone out of my way to be understanding and cooperative and loving and caring and understanding of her and everything else. Royce offering to buy my ticket is not him extending an olive branch. It's him being a fat pig that's too cheap to get a plane ticket at the real cost to go see a friend of mine that he's seduced with his fatness and his stupid radio show. 
okay? And the thing is, Eliana, in the long run, this is all your fault. You know how you told me I brought this on myself? No, you brought this on yourself. You brought this on yourself. You're crazy. You're absolutely ridiculous. You could have the whole time just said, James, let's talk about this. What do you do instead? You pre- you pretend to be a 21-year-old Russian girl to seduce me. That's what you do. You pretend to be a 21-year-old Russian girl. You tell me you're going to come see me on my goddamn birthday. You, you're pretending that, you know, all this stuff, I'm buying stuff to prepare my apartment for this Russian girl. Now, I had no. Now, about 75% of me was pretty sure it was you, but I was hoping, you know, maybe this is a new girl. Maybe it's not Eliana. Maybe I'm over Eliana. Maybe I can move on with this chick, okay? But about 75%, I was about 75% sure it was you, and I didn't call it out because I really liked talking to you. It made me feel good. And I was, uh, the whole time, there was not a day that went by that I wasn't like, this has got to be Eliana. And I loved waking you up every morning with an I love you. I really did. I really did. And it's sad. It's sad that that was all fake. Okay? But it it wasn't fake in a way. If I was with you, I would have woken you up every day with an I love you. I would have been there for you. Just like when I talked to Galena back to health when she got overheated, which was fake. I would have been, I I would always have been there for you. I I was always there for you for what, four years almost now. And that's the whole thing. This alleged nonsense about six years of videos with no response. I was friends with Eliana for three goddamned years, almost four, I think. (coughs) But the thing is, I've developed a health condition from this trolling. Uh, the tachycardia, I developed that from the high levels of stress that I've been under, okay, I, you know, and when I was in the hospital, you know, I should have given up on you when I was in the hospital, and you didn't, you refused to get a hold of me when I told you I was in the hospital with a heart condition, but then two months later, you're telling me I'm single, you know, you're like, oh, I'm single and I don't have a child, You know, two months prior to that, I was in the goddamn hospital with a heart condition that nobody knows what's causing it. You know what caused my heart condition? You. You caused my goddamn heart condition. And you know, you have been treating me like garbage for at least three three years or so now. And the way you flirt with this human trash, whether it's Royce or Juan Ramon, it doesn't really matter, does it? They're all fat, stupid. Well, Juan Ramon's not fat, but he is dumb as a doornail. My point is, you have never given me the respect I deserve, and you even you even acknowledge that. You've even acknowledged that you should give me more respect, and I have proof of that. When you said that you should respect and love me because I'm the one that's there for you, and you know what? I am the one that's there for you, but not anymore because you did this. You're the one that did this, not me. Release the emails, and I'll release the other emails. It's a bunch of bullshit. Eliana, I'm making this video just so you understand something. I did schedule my flight to Buenos Aires. Um, As the date that I will be arriving approaches, I'll try and communicate with you more openly, maybe without mentioning you, but I, I do want you to know when I'll be down and where I will be. I do want to respect your personal space. Now, what I want you to understand, I want you to look at my community tab. I want you to remember that we were friends, or at least you led me to believe we were friends, and I really thought we were friends. In fact, you're the one, you're the one that told me we were friends. I didn't tell you we were friends, okay? You told me we were friends, and that meant a whole lot to me for somebody as beautiful and smart and, in my view, perfect as you told me that I was your friend. At the time, I didn't have anyone in my life. I had my cats, that's about it. And then you tell me, you know, we're friends, and it made me feel so good to know that somebody as special as you considered me your friend, okay? I never wanted to let that go, okay? That's what the problem was, I never wanted to let that go, but you also weren't as clear with me as you could have been, and, you know, I'm showing what happened. Everybody knows what happened at this point. There's no way anybody with half a brain believes any of the stuff that you've said or that Daywave said or that any of these people have said. I want you to know you got to be careful about Royce Lopez. 
you have to be careful about him. He's aiming to take advantage of you. Okay? He's aiming to take advantage of your condition. He's aiming to take advantage of you. Uh, the people on the ROTC programs have been openly sexually harassing you. Openly sexually harassing you. The only reason they're getting away with it is because you don't understand social cues. You don't understand social skills. You don't understand conversation. Uh, they're openly and blatantly saying things that are sexually derogatory toward you, at you, saying things about you that are very, very inappropriate to be said in public. I'm not sure if it's you in my emails, but if it's not you, if it's not you talking to me via email, consider the fact that they would impersonate you and say the things that they're saying to anger me. If it is you in my emails, please continue to communicate with me. Please continue to negotiate with me. I can't let up until they let up. And I know you're saying, oh, well, these are just trolls that I have no control over. It was your mistake to involve them in our lives. You know what I mean, honey? You're the one that involved them in our lives. You're the one that told them the untruths that you told them. You're the one that helped pretend that I was banned from your country when I wasn't. You're the one that fostered this false narrative. You're the reason that when somebody Googles my name, they get, hi, I'm your local stalker. Okay? You're the reason for that. I've never stalked you. I never will stalk you. Uh, when I do come down, I do look forward to, uh, you know, coming down. I will do whatever the hell I'm doing when I get down there. That's about it. But you need to understand, you know, this has been your fault. If you look at the community tab, you will see the friendship that we had. You will understand that we did have a friendship. I'm not even asking for the friendship back. All I'm asking is that you correct the untruths that you've told the public. Because these untruths have led to, well, when you Google my name, people thinking I'm a stalker. Okay? Thinking I'm a sex offender when I'm not. Thinking I'm doing all these crazy things that I'm not doing. Okay? So, this is your fault. You involved these people in our lives. You didn't have to. Mr. Lopez is aiming to take advantage of you because you have autism. And you know that. Or at least, well, you probably don't know that because you have autism. But I'm telling you flat out, the dude has uh, very bad intentions if he gets you alone. Okay? Now, if you remember, I was never trying to get you alone. What did I always say? Bring your parents, bring your brother, bring whoever. Okay? I was never trying to get you alone to take advantage of you. I always considered you my friend, and I always considered what we had to be special. As a friendship, if it was more, it would be more. But it didn't have to be more. That's all for this video. So what I want to tell you, honey, is you know that I was your friend for a very considerable amount of time. Okay? And that you know my character. You know the way I am. You know that I took care of my ex-girlfriend. My ex-girlfriend will vouch for me that I took good care of her uh, while she was ill. Okay? Uh, and you know who I am as a person. If you really think about it, you know who I am as a person. Now, what I want you to understand is, if you're afraid of me, it's because of the lies that were told to you by people like Mr. Lopez. Um, I will be getting those things exonerated, like I'm gonna be getting those things what's called expunged. Okay, they don't exist, they didn't happen, or at least when they did happen, it wasn't me that did those things. So, what you were told were a bunch of untruths by a horny idiot that thinks that he can get with you. I don't think he can get with you, because I know that you have more brains than that. Okay? But the thing that you need to understand is that they purposely misled you and purposely tried to scare you. I saw the first show. I couldn't watch the, a lot of that in real time at first because it was just too upsetting. But they lied to you. They told you that I said that you were after my money. I don't have any money. We both know that. Well, I have money, but not very much money. Um, I don't have enough money to be handing it out, like, you know, liberally handing out money, because I just don't have money like that anymore. 
But the fact of the matter is, they lied to you and said that I said you were after my money. You weren't after my money. They lied to you and said that I said you were trying to get a green card. I never said you were trying to get a green card by being with me. In fact, if you remember, what was the plan? The plan was that I came down there, down to Buenos Aires, to be with you. Right? Wasn't that the plan? You remember the plan. I'm tired of the United States. I don't want to live in the United States anymore. My plan was to come down to Argentina and be with you. That was our, our plan. Right? Remember our plan? Our plan. Not their plan. Their plan is for Royce to get down there and brag about his turtleneck. Okay? Now, you can be afraid of me if you want, but I can guarantee you that you being afraid of me is the most incorrect, uh, incorrect assumption that you could possibly make of a person. Okay? You know who I am. You know my character, and you know how much I've cared about you over the years, and continue to care about you despite my better judgment. Can I continue to care about you despite the way you've treated me? I continue to care about you despite the fact that you've told me to kill myself three times. I still care about you, and I'm still trying to treat you as fairly as I possibly can. Okay, I'm not trying to defame you in any way, or make you look bad in any way, or make you feel bad in any way. I'm trying to let you understand that I care about you.、Uh, I've gotten angry and frustrated. Well, not even angry. I've gotten very frustrated with the situation because it's like you can't hear what I'm saying. It's like for whatever reason, everything I say, you you just don't hear it. It it just is not computing in your head. Now I know that you you do have issues with these things, and I know that if you're in a bad mood, it might be hard for you to understand what I'm saying, and you might have. Uh, you might see me right now as the source of everything bad in your life, but I promise you that's not the case. Okay, I want it to be the source of good in your life. Okay, and I think you know that if you really st- if you really sit down and think about the way that I am, and the way that these perverts are, you will see that I want it to be the source of good in your life. Okay. I want it to be the guy that you came to with your problems. I want it to be the guy that held you up. I want it to be the guy to hold you. I want it to be the guy to keep you safe. I want it to be the guy that came down to Argentina. Okay, and I'm still going to be the guy that came down to Argentina. I just won't be seeing you. But what I want you to know is there's no reason, no logical reason, for you to be afraid of me. It, you might have a lot of emotions that you're working through that they've worked up. When I saw you on that that first show that you appeared on, you looked like you were in the middle of a frickin' meltdown. And I can only imagine the situation that you've been in since. I fear that you are having a meltdown or that you are emotionally distraught, and that's why you haven't appeared on any shows is because you're too wacky and you can't hold back the symptoms. And you know. I'm not. I'm not being judgmental of you because I don't think that it's fair to be judgmental of somebody. I mean, look. I'll be honest. This has caused me to become symptomatic with my PTSD, with the harassment and stuff like that. It's caused me to become symptomatic. Now I've been able to push that down and understand. You know, this is not. These people are not a real threat to me, etc. But they're trying to make you afraid of me. Look at the people that they are. Look at what they're doing. Look at how they're threatening people. How they're hacking people's everything. How they're doing whatever they want to people. The way they talk about people. The way they talk about you. It's not me that you need to be afraid of or wary of. It's them. I'm just telling you the way it is. Okay. And you can believe that or you can disbelieve that. But the truth is that you know who I am. If you really care to think. If you care to think. If you care to think with your rational mind, you know who I am. You know what I've meant to you. You know what I'm willing to do for you. Somebody actually asked me. They go, "What are you going to do if you couldn't find her?" Like when I was worried about what might be going on with you because of these trolls. Are you going to search all of Argentina to find her? If I had to, when I was concerned about you and you weren't communicating with me, and I thought that people were doing bad things to you, if I had to search all of Argentina to help you, I would have searched all of Argentina to help you. I care about you. I really do, 
And you need to understand that I care about you. It's the truth. Now, I can't make you understand that I care about you. The only thing I can do is tell you and hope that it, it it's received properly by you. I'm sorry that I get loud and angry and I'm a big mean person sometimes. You know that. You that's one of the reasons you know that I get angry a lot. I remember you would tell me that I need to calm down and all this, you know, you you don't like that I get angry and I respect that. And I I try very hard to control my anger. For right now it's for my own health. But when I was friends with you, I would try to control my anger for you because I knew you didn't like when I got angry. And I will continue to try and control my anger. And I will control but it, it's very hard to control my anger when I have people constantly bothering me 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, constantly, constantly, constantly. And um yeah, I'm not going to yell at you anymore. I think I I think I made my points with the yelling. I just hope that the yelling got through to you. Um, instead of causing you to shut down, I don't want you to shut down with me. I want you to open up with me. I want you to be you. That's the that's the beauty of you and me. You can be who you are with me and not worry about me judging you at all. I don't. I I will not judge you. I know you you don't believe me, but it's the truth. You can be whoever you really are. All nerded out, geeked out, whatever. I will never judge you. And I think you I think you know that. You can be as dorky as you want with me and the only thing I'm going to do is you know care about you. <laughs> that's that's it. You can be the biggest geek in the world, I'm still going to care about you. And I know you're a big geek. You're the only girl I know that puts the pink in math instead of other stuff according to Larry Flint. But you put the pink in math. Remember that post? <laughs> anyway, I love you, little dork. So I mean like I was looking at everything the wrong way, hun. Now, I got to do the opposite of what they say, but I got to do it the way that's appropriate. I won. They lost, I won. I know that. Um really all I have to do is reassure you that you have a friend that loves you no matter what, and you do. I I love you no matter what. You want me to kill myself? You tell me to kill myself 3 times? Rolls off me. I love you still. Okay? You tell people lies about me, I still love you. You do whatever you can to me, I still love you because I know who you are on the inside and you are that same girl. Okay? You need somebody like that in your life. Okay, whether I ever meet you or not, you need a friend like me in your life, just like I needed a friend like you in my life when you were in my life. Okay? So I have to recognize that they lost, I won. And everything they try to do to agitate me. Why am I letting them agitate me? I know who they are now. I know who these people are now. They're worthless dorks. They're they're nothing but a bunch of fat nerds. Okay, I'm not going to let them stand in the way between you and me and our friendship. Whether we meet or not ever, that doesn't mean we can't be friends. Okay? And you need a friend like me in your life that doesn't let anything get to him. I am sorry I got so agitated, but you have to understand when you're getting harassed like that, it, it does take a toll on you. Okay, I think that you reacted the way you did because you were told a bunch of freaking lies, honestly. And honestly, I do, I don't blame you for reacting the way you did over the years. But you have to, you have to believe me. Well, you don't have to believe me, but I think that you would be foolish not to believe me when I'm telling you that people were harassing me for years, which was causing me to lash out in much the same way as I've been lashing out from the harassment now. Uh the fact of the matter is, I am your friend. I was your friend. I will be your friend if you want me to be your friend. And uh it doesn't matter what you uh what you do to me. You know, I, as I told Royce in one of the uh, comments on the Gay Wave uh, comment section, you know, you could kick me in the face wearing uh, high heels, and I'd just laugh it off because I love you, and I know you're who you are on the inside, and it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't break me. I'm unbreakable, as I've said in a previous video at a much higher volume. <laughs> But honestly, I think you need somebody like me in your life to to give you a hug, even if it is a metaphorical hug from a hemisphere away. You need somebody like me that can withstand, you know, rough stuff, 
you know, <laughs> the rougher side of you. Uh, and I can, you know, I can withstand anything. You know, they're not going to dissuade me from being your friend. You might dissuade me from being your friend, but even that, I can, I can let it roll off my back. Um, I don't want you to be afraid of me. I really don't. That's why I'm making these videos. It's gonna be all Eliana all the time. They wanna tell me not to make Eliana videos? I will do the opposite, just like I told my followers. Attack the attacker. But I don't have to attack with aggression or anything like that. That's the mistake. I have to remember that when I get loud and when I get angry and boisterous and act like an Italian, uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I know you're part Italian. But when I act like that, I am too. I am too, and that's proof. You're part Italian, I'm part Italian, that's proof that nobody's perfect. Just saying. <laughs> but I have to recognize the fact that, you know, I can't get loud and I can't get boisterous and I can't get obnoxious and I can't get critical because that shuts you down. And I don't want you to shut down. I want you to open up. I want you to be as open as possible with me. I really do care a great deal about you. You really meant everything to me for seven years. And that's not an exaggeration. You were everything to me for seven years. I know it might not seem that way and it might be hard to understand, but it's the truth. And I want you to take everything into consideration. You know, if you want to be my fiance, you don't have to pretend to be a 21, a 21 year old Russian girl. We can just do that. <laughs> if you don't, that's cool too. But know that they lost, I won, and I'm not going to let them get to me. I will reach out to you with love and compassion and caring and kindness and everything I used to reach out to you with. Because that's what you deserve, and you deserve to know that there's somebody that can withstand the, the hardest times possible. And I can. And I am your friend. Whether you want me to be your friend or not, I'm your friend. <laughs> that's the bottom line. Um, I can't stop caring about you so I might as well tell you the truth you're my buddy you might not want to be my buddy but as far as I'm concerned you are okay and uh, you know they tell me not to make videos I'll make more videos it's all Eliana all the time except for the nutrition videos and other videos that are the other things that I cover uh, so take it for what it's worth I won't let them make me angry anymore. I won't let them make me get to the point where I'm causing you to shut down. I want you to open up to me. I want you to be my friend. And you might not be, and I recognize that. You might you might continue to choose to do this nonsense, but look, they didn't win, and I won't let them win. Not when it comes to our friendship. We had a real friendship, and it meant everything to me when we had it. It meant everything to me for many years, actually. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not going to let that just die. It's, it's not going to happen. Um, I'm obviously not coming down to see you. I'll be coming down, but I will respect you in the sense that I, I will respect your personal space. I will respect, you know, all that. And that you deserve that. You deserve to feel safe. And part of you feeling safe is me taking it down a notch, centering myself, and talking to you in a calm, respectful way. And I'm sorry I've lost it a couple times, but it's... I have to remember that sometimes you might behave in bad ways because you get angry and you get frustrated just like I get angry and I get frustrated. But the difference is I can handle somebody being angry at me. You can't to the degree that I can. And that's okay. That's where I have to step in and I have to understand that I have to center myself. I have to be calm. I have to be collected. And I have to do that for you. And, you know, if that's what it means to be your buddy, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to reevaluate the situation and act appropriately uh, and, you know, basically adjust my reactions to other people's behavior for your benefit. And I'm sorry I haven't done this in the past as best I could. Uh, I have adjusted myself to react to your, uh, you know, when you, when you would have freak outs or whatever, I adjusted, you know, I don't let that get to me but I have to adjust my reaction to other people's uh, obnoxiousness, I guess. But just know I care about you, and I am here for you, and I will always be here for you, okay? Best wishes, sweetie pie. Hello, my love. Well, what I want to tell you is, 
I don't have much to say except that I love you. You know I love you. I'm not going to hold back anymore with how much I love you. I'm not going to get angry ever again. That's a big mistake. I don't need you shutting down on me. I need you to open up to me. Okay, and what I want you to know is no matter what, I love you. But what I want you to do is when you're alone and when you're not fraternizing with these subhuman pieces of trash, I want you to remember who I am and I want you to remember who you are. Okay? That's all I want. I want you to remember that I love you a lot and that I want to be the one holding you. I want to be the one that's with you during your hard times, during the times that you need somebody that's strong to protect you, to hold you, to love you, okay? That's what I want you to know. And you know that I'm there for you. I've always been there for you. I always will be for that. I always will be there for you if you want me to be there for you. You know that. I stuck it out this long. I can stick it out forever if you want me to. You know, it, it, it's a matter of choice. If you choose to have me in your life, you will. Okay? The point is, I will not stop making videos as long as I'm covered by ROTC, by people like Hatman, okay, and other members of the ROTC family. I will make videos about you forever. Forever, I will make videos about you. It's not a joke. My love for you is not a joke. I truly miss you. I truly miss the time that we spent together. I truly miss the thoughts we shared. Okay? But I won't get angry at you ever again, and I won't raise my voice to you ever again. I'm sorry I've raised my voice to you in the past. Um, as long as they cover me, I cover you. I'm not going to cover them, though, because they don't deserve to be covered. But what I really want to cover you with is a nice warm blanket. I want to cover both of us with a nice warm blanket. And I want to take a little siesta with you. <laughs> anyway, you know that my love for you is true. My love for you is real. Okay? If anything, you remember how I did not believe in true love. Remember I tried to talk you out of the concept of true love. Well, perhaps you've made me a true believer in true love. Perhaps you are my true love. Perhaps that's the reality of the situation after all. Perhaps the irony of the situation is I can never have you. But the facts are the facts, as they say, or as I say. You are my true love, and I miss you. I truly miss you, Eliana. I miss you a lot, okay? So tonight, when you're alone, when you're by yourself, I want you to remember that I love you. And I want you to remember, try to remember, how you felt about me. I know you felt something about me. Okay? And I know it wasn't merely rage. I love you, honey. I really do love you. Okay? This did not break me. It won't break me. You know, just keep in mind I love you no matter what. And I probably, all, I probably always will love you. Okay? I probably will always love you. And while that may not matter to you, it matters to me. Take care, honey. I'll be making videos about you for a very, very long time, I, I think. Have a good night. Eliana Michaela Morales, I have a very important question to ask you. Will you marry me? I know you claim to have a fiancé, but... I also know that he's probably gay. I base, I base this on knowledge of your past relationships with men and them being homosexual. I'm not judging you, not at all. I know that the geographic location you live in, it's hard to find a heterosexual monogamous male. But I promise to be that heterosexual monogamous male if you need him, to hold you, to love you, to lift you up when no one else will to give you the moral and emotional support you need, my love. I will be there for you. What you need to understand is I was tricked into taking my videos down 
where I mentioned your name. Well, now when people Google me, they get very nasty things about me, claiming all sorts of things about me that I never did. I can't move on from you anymore. So as long as ROTC covers me, I will cover you. But the difference is, I love you. That's the truth. I truly do love you, and that's not made up. By the end of this, it might come to the point where the only people that love you or me are you or me,、uh, which might not be that bad. I adore you, Eliana Michela Morales. I would worship you if you would allow me to, and you know that. I love you, my little Incan princess. So,、uh, how do I know that Galena was Eliana and not Hatman? Well, the main reason why I'm going to give you a couple reasons. When Galena started getting serious with me, or claiming to be getting serious with me, I exited out of all the dating apps I was on. And Galena said, "You don't have to do that. Please don't do that." Okay. Well, that's not something Hatman would tell me. That's only somebody that actually cares about me would tell me. Somebody that knows that it's a fraud and actually cares about me and doesn't want me to get as hurt as badly as they thought I would get hurt at the end of this. But I'm not hurt at all.、Uh, another reason why is because、uh, about a day ago I was telling her something about someone close to me, and, and she was concerned about this person, this person's、uh, health. And、uh, you know that's not something Hatman would care about. It just isn't. Also, the way in which she which she negotiated with me, not a way Hatman would negotiate with me. The way she communicated with me, very very much like the way Eliana used to communicate with me. So Eliana, I know you were Galena. I know Galena is Eliana. And you know what? Whatever. Although the the other way I know, the other way I know is the photo that was sent to me actually is of a Slavic girl. The skull shape it matches and everything. And I know that only Eliana, who's also an anthropology nerd, would have the sense to find a Slavic girl to send me a photo of, pretending,、uh, you know, if she was pretending to be a Slavic girl, she would she would find me an Eastern Slavic girl to send me a photo of. And、uh, none of these other people would do that. They'd send me a Celtic girl or a German girl. To the, to other people, white is white. Eliana and I know about skull shapes and know about these things. These people don't know these things. They're not bright enough to do that. They would just take any any old white girl and go, "This is、uh, this is Galena." But I know you, Eliana. I know you. I know how smart you are. I do know you care about me, and I do love you. And I hope that you do decide to be with me. After all, I do know that if your fiance actually is real, he is probably a homosexual. And again, I'm not judging you. I'm just going by knowledge of your past relationships and knowledge of the geographic area and the rampant homosexuality and bisexuality and lack of monogamy in the people around you. You don't want to be dealing with that. You want a nice monogamous. Uh, white Anglo-Saxon. I can't say Protestant because I'm not a Protestant, but I'll even pretend to convert to Catholicism with you. But I will not go to church. I do not like supporting,、uh, you know, child sex trafficking, which is what the Catholic Church does. But I will pretend to convert for you. We just will only go to church, maybe Easter and Christmas. Although we aren't putting anything in that collection plate because I refuse. I absolutely refuse to support the horrible crimes against humanity that the Catholic Church commits. But other than that, I will I will pretend to convert for you. I'll pretend to pray the rosary and you know all that stuff. Not going to confession. I got better things to do than conf- confess my sins to a, uh, a closeted homosexual pedophile, as they have in the church.、Uh, but I do want you to know I want to marry you, and I think you should want to marry me. I think we'd make a very cute couple.